Session just to just for You want to get a news update My brother to just for You want to know what is happening more of your two to spoon Politicians want to make their decision just to do spoon You want to know what happening in the ministry to do spoon Unfortunately, we do not hold the event 
At the end of the month, due to opposite circumstances. During past time, the LNPA had four other assemblies within a year. And these assemblies were held in counties around the country. But the membership decided to have a reduced for civil assembly for the purpose of discussing issues in the past. This is the reason why we have assembled in this hall. As members of the bar, during our presence at the location, we are grateful for the Almighty God for his blessings that he continues to bestow upon us, thereby enabling us to be alive and performing our duties including participating in this assembly. Between the period of our National Convention of 2023 and the present, some members of the bar transition to eternity. They are His Honor Joseph N. Nami, Associate Justice, Honorable Supreme Court of Liberia. Councillor Charles Devin Angola, Councillor Esther Simon C, and Councillor Nathaniel Wang Olwa, and J. Emmanuel Perry. This morning, Wang was sitting on the chair. Oh God, why you for taking me that way? 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 Why you for taking me that He said that uh, we need to clean it up and this will not be the first and the last. We're going to continue keeping the place healthy so that the workers here can have a sense of ownership. Um, how messy was the FDA? Well, I hope you have come here before we did it. It was all in boots. Even the building itself was torn down. There's still much work to be done on the building. Mm. But at least we've started. But like I said, this won't be the end. We'll continue to make sure that it gets better as we try to build in the institution and the building also in the fact of where FDA will go from here. Okay, so um, tell us, um, uh, Mr. M. D. You just took over um, at the F, uh, the FDA. Tell us your own um, mission here. What what do you hope to achieve here? Um, if you should have the favor of the president to work as M. D. for the next six years. Well, we hope we can do our best to make sure that FDA gains its place where it used to be. Because FDA was one of those that supported the Liberian government's budget. Today we, we, we are in a different position. So we hope to change that. We hope also to impact the lives of our people. Because you know, FDA is out there in the country, not here in this Monopoly. Okay. So wherever we go in the country, we expect to impact the life of our people and the activities we do there. Whether it's conservation or commercial, the people who must come first. Okay. So what, what specific area? Um... All over the country. Okay. Oh. No, I'm, I, I was I, I was talking about what, what specific area um, you think you want to achieve bigly. I don't know exactly what you mean by area. If it's specific uh, geographic. Okay. That, that's one thing. So so I mean um, 
I think you have, um, as an MD, you have, you know, uh, an agenda here. So which one of those agenda you hope to achieve? What that, 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 that is of more priority? Okay, from Tapeta to Zweju, the rescue team working hard. Anyway, I made no mistake for the Joseph Baka. Thank you, Baba. from the marketers themselves with respect to what the prices are, the different challenges they are facing. But as you see right at my back here, you have a huge uh, pile of bikes. Of course, this has been an age old problem, um, a huge pile of garbage. And um, this is something that is not unique to this particular part of the country. There are several parts of Monrovia, central Monrovia as well, that are faced with this issue of garbage. And, and right now, garbage, right now, I can tell there, they are selling and of course, or a Saturday evening where marketers, Liberians uh, within this region get to gather here either to sell or to purchase their food for the rest of the week or to carry on some other activities every single day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you only bear? Are you gonna must go bear? Yeah, I said gonna must go bear. Okay. So, uh, um, like, you selling the bags here, right? What Within a in another day, stand all road pieces and up to now, nothing has been going on. Some poor as in the interior they're complaining. So, like a fair expectation, you are having to see the road fix. Yes. And you see it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, it been two months since this government take power. Your business you doing now? Has it improved or not? No. There has been no improvement. Yes. What do you expect the government to maybe address so that it will impact the business I do? Oh, actually, I don't get any question for the government, but what I, I'm, I'm still waiting. I can hope for the government. I know that the man, he is still coming. Uh, yeah, so okay. what all there? I will not wait for maybe the one year. And in the following year, when we see nothing going on, then we now. Okay, so you're waiting for one year. After one year, and you see anything good going on, then your hope will be that. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. for now, you still get hope yeah, that the I, government will work on things and your business will improve. Yeah, I get hope. I know that things will be better. Okay. Buy bono for 5000 6000 Okay. So now, how the buying looking like? People ready to buy? No buying. All the people running beyond us, so no buying. I know how we manage. So, so when 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 they rather buying for you per day, how much you can make that? And they rather buying per day from there. I can see three thousand. No, three thousand is rather buying, but they're not buying there. So, how much you not make today? All the people that only three hundred and me. So, the people who sit around me, they can't worry. So, but you get children, the business you doing, you get children that uh, maybe you supporting through the business. I have two children, but you get two children. Yeah, one, two. one going to school, one I'm going to school. 
Wow. I have basic to be improved. What do you want the government to work? I want You want to look in the camera? No, I'm not looking in the camera. I'm not looking in the camera. But you want to look at the camera so that people can know who's talking to them? Yeah, go ahead. Why do you want the government to work on so that they are basic to improve? I want to make the U.S. Makanda or the school fee or the children's school fee Makanda, everything. So our base name at you prove we need peace and unity. Okay. Thank you for talking to us. Yeah. Any final thing you want to say? A day to get out to the things you want to. Okay, man. Thank you. I get Joshua. They are here, my son. Because our people in the country are our leader, they they don't love us. They only die for their power for themselves. Before then, they said they put money on the thing by written. But when you go out of number one, come one day you tell them say you want one kid and they will serve you. You want two kids and they will serve you. They have been one who tell their complaint to the former people. They come and they go and to us say that they burn it in their pocket. And they show to us that are true, they say that they burn it in their pocket. So, so wait, let me understand it. Yeah. You can go, you can buy a cartoon from the people. Yes. Then you can you sell small small retail so you can get small things. Yes. But they see people buying a cartoon for you say retail. So that one there, they're not correct for your business. They're not correct for our business. How they expect me for us to succeed in the country? Now I don't like an input. Wow. Wow. So when you buy a cartoon for three thousand, yeah. three thousand five hundred, yeah. how much profit you can get on one cartoon? On one cartoon, God bless you. I get five hundred a plenty. One. If they say the people are not selling by written, if I hear they say 10 or in our cartoon, the people will sell it for me. But they don't do it. Even in a full-out people store, they sell one pack of spaghetti in the store. They say they will succeed. They say they will not succeed. Because they sell it written. One pack of spaghetti, they will not sell it. They will come outside and buy it from us. But the people just sell me one pack of spaghetti. You want one baby store, they will sell it to you. Anything that you want in retail, you go to the dollar store in Rayleigh, really, yeah, they will give it to you, my son. Wow. They are, they are, they are, they are starting up for us to succeed. So the government has to come down. Now they go to the dollar store, now. they keep in the country to sell also. Now they need a retail selling when they sell it. So we can sell, we send our children to school. So we can sell, we'll be able to support our children. So our children will not get on the street with no food. We're not able to get that for the children, so we put the children on the street. So so how much children you get, Mama? Now they business supporting. I, I will not allow my son, I guess this. Yes, sir. Oh, boy, one year. And all they going to school? I tell God, after one of them going to school. And I find a business, you supporting them? I find a business by the grace of God. I can tell God, say that God is walking in my hand. It's not me. Because I've got to make for me. So, what is, uh, uh, it, it's been two months yeah. since the new government came in power. Yeah. From the way you look at things, do you think the government doing well or they're not doing well? Now I can't hold the government responsible. Because anything, even when you move to a new place, to get used to other people, it will take time when they get used to you. So we have to get a government time to work. So I don't get problem with the government. I did one year, two years. When I see anything, nothing improving, then I can say, because myself, I could put it, put it in my shoe. Even in the name, I let you go to the home. You have to get used to the family name. They go day by day. Can I only want them? Yes, I, a special one from the CEO Stan Tunnel with the scroll. And your boy, Friday the South Man, charges on the beat. Okay, tune to spoon to get your information, tune to spoon to know uh, to know what's happening in Liberia, what what's happening in the ministries, the agencies, what are the policymakers saying? This is where you get authentic information about all of the major happenings across Liberia. I'd like to say welcome to you across the world. Thanks for joining us tonight. This is the late night show, the late night politics on spoon. My name is Nelson Collette. Um, thanks to our folks on on, on uh, across the internet who have joined us tonight uh, tonight on YouTube. Um, thanks to all of you for joining us there on Facebook, Spoon TV, Fabric TV, Super TV. Thanks for joining us tonight. I want to say thanks to the folks in Radio Lane as well who uh, are always here every single day making sure that we talk about Liberia, we talk about the trending issues, we talk about the issues affecting our country, citizens across Liberia, 
uh, every single day. Again, I'd like to say welcome to the show. Thanks to all of you tonight uh, for joining us on the Late Night Show, the Late Night Politics and Spoon. It's going to be a fascinating show today. Great conversation coming up. Lots of things to talk about every single day. There are... There are there are, there, are, there are new developments in the country that we need to talk about. And this is how we shape the national discourse. This is how we're going to get our country moving forward. This is how we can all contribute to the national discourse and get Liberia, the kind of country that we all want to see it uh, become. Our country will do better. Liberia will improve. But every single person has a role, a responsibility to make, uh, to play rather, in that change that we all want to see. And it starts with a platform like this, where we can all come, irrespective of the different views that we share on those trending national issues, we can come and discuss those issues with an eye on the bigger picture, wanting to see our country move forward with an eye on the bigger picture, wanting to see a better Liberia. So welcome to the show tonight. My name is Nelson Collette. Thanks to all of you who have joined us now. Kindly share the program as you come on tonight. Um, we will appreciate if you were to share the program. Thanks to all of you in the comment section. Let me recognize a few of you. I see the other guys are coming on. We're about to kick off the show. Uh, it's going to be a great conversation tonight. Coach King, Mr. Charles King, will be uh, here with us tonight, sharing his thoughts on some very important issues we have to talk about. And uh, we also have some um, critical issues to highlight here tonight. Again, welcome to the program. Let me recognize a few of you. Um, I see Hipko Kasi. Thanks for being here tonight. You said you're joining from where? The um, Okay, you said welcome, Nelson and the entire team. Uh, Baby Kate uh, Cordia, thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate you. Um, thanks to all of the folks tonight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jessica Davis, thanks for being here tonight. I see Rudolph is already in the backstage. Let me bring Rudolph on. Rudolph, thanks for joining us tonight. It's good to have you on. Um, let me go back to the comment section and recognize a few of the folks. And I see Marie Kepo. Marie, where have you been? <laughs> thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, Marie said, when you see sensible people talking, you know. Oh, Marie, so you can call with what Omar is saying. But, you know, uh, sometimes it depends on the side of the table you sit. And that's how that's the kind of lens you use to uh, uh, analyze what, what uh, the issues are. <laughs> Well, Marie, thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate you. Um, I see Justina, thanks for being here. You want to mute? Uh, I'm going to come to you shortly so you recognize a few of our folks here. Uh, but let me go back to the comment session. I see um, I see Sally Vincent, thanks for being here. We appreciate you tonight. Tennessee still. Tennessee, come back on. Um, I know you're coming on tonight. Golden Tools Group, uh, Golden Trust Group. Thanks for being here tonight. You're following via YouTube. Um, yes, and I see Philip Muller. Yes, uh, Philip, thanks for being here tonight, Chief. We appreciate you. Um, Abuzike, Abuzike, yes. Thanks for joining us tonight. <laughs> Francis, always struggling with this guy's name. But I got it. I got a secret. I got the magic. The guy's name is. You want me to call the name? Look, I mean, you know how to call the name the right way. The guy's name is Abuziki. 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 No, no, let me let me let me get, let me get the guy name highlighted here. You're 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 tell me if I'm not calling the name the right way. The guy's name is Abuzike. Abuzike Onisese. Oyisese. Abuzi or yes. Azubu. You got an A Z. No, Azubiki. Azubiki. No, don't don't try to twist the thing. You, you <laughs> you're trying to get me off track. But the guy's name is uh my man. I didn't do phone in school. The guy's name is Abu. <laughs> you love me at my confession. <laughs> Tennessee, welcome to the show tonight. Thanks for joining us. It's good to have you on. Yeah. Uh you are muted. How are you guys doing? How are you gentlemen doing? Yeah, we we're good. Uh, yeah, the first few meal on tonight. Tennessee, thanks for coming on. But but Tennessee, I, I think you agree with me. This guy's name is Abu Abuziki. Let, 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 let me tell you Azubike. your your, your own phonetic uh, skills. He said Azubike. That's the name. Azubike. Azubike. <laughs> no. I think that's I think that's the name. Azubike is the name. Azubike. Azubike. Yeah. Azubike. 
They can't tell me give a hard time to them. My man, whatever your name is, that hey, we don't get time for you going. <laughs> Eric, my girl, thanks for joining us tonight. Eric, uh, you joining us. DJ Do, thanks for being here tonight. I see Rose. Um, you? Yannis, thanks for joining us. Alice, Alice Ban. Alice is almost the first every time to join us. She's always following via YouTube. Thanks for being here tonight. Robert A. Sa, thanks for joining us. Adam and Boakai Sharif, we appreciate it tonight. Otis uh, Kupa, Kupa. Rose and Kali, thanks for being here tonight. I see you rejoice uh, that West. Thanks for being here tonight. Thanks to everybody, man. I see George, George David Igar. Yes, I hope I got that right. Uh, thanks for being here tonight. I'm not, I'm not like, um, like uh, Rudolph, who's always uh, mispronouncing your names here. You know me. I try my best on this thing. But Rudolph, you want to recognize a few of the folks uh, just before we go? Oh yeah, sure. I don't mind doing that. Okay. So, uh, step, wait, step, step with us from begin. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. I'm <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. There is all fun. But I feel a little bit. The way I know what else will begin. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> nothing begin. You are also welcome. What? Why is it nothing begin? <laughs> But you know what? You know what? It reminds me of uh Anthony Moraya Kula. So <laughs> those guys are interesting. Somebody said Anthony Moraya Kula's picking hey, is older than her. So how can a guy be your picking when the guy is older than you? But you know that that's it. It's, it's not about age. You know, rule of picking and uh, you know, well, tennis picking, know. everything will start to pop up as we go. But you you, you want to continue from uh where you stop? You know nothing. I'll soon day be appointment. I will get picking. I will get some and all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, Sam, you are welcome. Sir Winston, you are welcome. Jay Jutomu Name, you are welcome. Yaya Davis, you are welcome. Uh, Tay Leo Leominos, you are welcome. Philip Male, you are welcome. You know what, Nelson? I feel like. Some of these guys have 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 changed their name. Just to just to put in problem. You got nothing. Yes. I'm saying enough enough. Ha ha. You know yeah. They they ever be. No no no. You 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 know the ninja. Forget it. Don't worry, brother. You... <laughs> <laughs> Eric Davis, welcome, Eric. Um, get you get you. Is it Kuyate? Welcome. Um. I, Justina, you are you are welcome. Thanks for always being here, Justina. Okay, you thank welcome. you. Let's let's all you there. Tennessee, you want to pick a few just before we uh, kick start the show? Let me tell you, I don't even see anything on my screen. It's so funny. Oh, you don't see anything? Don't okay. See anything uh, so what can you, you look? What can you, you look at the next? You are you using your phone or a computer? What you, so what okay. you do? Okay. Just touch the more button. Just hit on what you, you see. On, more you see mic cam chat more and leave right right on like your screen. oh right here more so when you hit more then you will see the you will see comments can hit comments comment yeah you will see the comments do you see it i see comment yeah i see yes. i'm telling all these people who are yes. right here i see jesse walker walker i see floor um i see give please p here Yaya is here. Welcome, Yaya. Francis M. Corley, welcome. Oh, Yaya, welcome. I think Yaya follows me. Welcome. Y'all follow me over here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think this is all that I see on my screen. Moses Mobile, welcome. Okay. okay. That's all okay, I see. So, so that's all you see for now? Yes. Okay. So, yes, uh, we want to welcome everyone to the show tonight. Kindly share the program as you come on. Look. It's going to be a great uh, show tonight, and um, uh, you know, every single day we wake up to new activities, new happenings in the country. It's important that we keep keep the torch burning, keep the national discourse moving on, because that's the only way we can get our country moving on. Yeah. Um, Liberia is all we have, regardless of where we are, which part of the world we find ourselves. This country is one place that we hold so dear to our hearts, and... Um, one way we can ship uh, how things goes on in our country is uh, making sure that we get to, you know, uh, our, our voices to the many voices in making sure that Liberia is improved. 
So again, um, I want us to kickstart the show. Um, anything you want to talk about, uh, Tennessee, what's on your mind? Uh, perhaps anything that happened today or whatever you want to talk about as part of your opening, then we uh, move on. Wow, I um, I have a very controversial um, page. We were okay. on there talking about trending topics like the um, trending thing on social media. The, mm -hmm. um, my friend Bess, well, I got a wedding. Uh, uh, um, engagement and also cc martin um love saga that's what we're talking about on my platform for some of you who have not followed me on that page it is int quite interesting i think y'all have sent some controversial side in me i am very controversial so i hope you guys are okay with um the personality that i hope that i that i have very very controversial i'm not fixated you know that's just me i like i, I like to be you know that kind of person <laughs> okay 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 um so you done with your opening <clears throat> i am done i don't know if i have the permission okay. to uh, let them know about my page but you will do that when you're ready when you are okay, here to sell yourself you, you, you are going to, to pay <laughs> to market your brand on okay, so uh let's let's see what's on your mind um uh, rudolph uh because mr king is going to be joining us tonight uh i see he's already given me signal that he's uh welcoming good evening to all of our viewers um good morning to the ones back home i mean it's a good thing to be on here again tonight we come here every day we make time to i mean to come and, and talk to our people and to to this and to also discuss trending trending issues that are affecting lives back home. So yes, I look forward to a good show tonight, and I look forward to a fruitful and 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 um, and good exchange. Thank you. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> thanks for being. Um, thank thanks for that. Thanks for that opening, and um, it's a good thing that we're here tonight and to talk about. Like, can I, sorry, sorry. One of our Adam followers just joined. Welcome, Madam Ruth Goba. Welcome. Oh, so, so you paused the entire show just to say Barely. welcome to Madam Ruth Goba. But you know, you know something. <laughs> Ruth Goba, Madam Ruth Goba, doesn't doesn't care about that sentiment you want to buy. No, once you're saying something that she doesn't align with, she'll write in the comment section, "You are lying, Rudolph." I disagree with you on this one. I'm watching from North Carolina. Uh, no, she she always end the, the the statement with "I'm watching from Charlotte, North Carolina." Uh, I mean, I disagree with you on this one. You are off track. You are totally off track. I'm watching from North Carolina. <laughs> so we appreciate you tonight. Uh, thanks for being here. And um, what a great way to start the show. Uh, Mr. King is going to be joining us tonight. But but something is happening. Um, today we were sampling the views of folks in the real life market. And, and there's something um, one of the marketeers said that is of serious concern. The issue of folks who are into the wholesale and the retail. I mean, we can talk about the politics all day, but these are the real issues that are affecting Liberians, especially those uh doing their little businesses to sustain themselves uh take care of their families and all of that now i i, I want to take i want us to take a just a few bars of this one let's 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 hear from this lady here let's hear from this liberian business woman we're gonna bring mr king on shortly but let's 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 take a look at this they are accepting up to so they buy the cartoon for 3,000. 3,500. How much profit you can get on one cartoon? On one cartoon, God bless you. I get five hundred a plenty. One, if they say they put on a seven dollar meeting, if I hear they say ten dollar in one cartoon, they better with seven family. But they don't do it. Even in a full of people store. They sell one pack of spaghetti in the store. They all the same thing with sauce. 
They say she will not succeed. Before they said it written, one part of the city, they say we not sell it. They will come outside and buy it from us. But the people just sell it one part of the city. You want one, they this one, they will sell it to you. Anything that you want in retail, you go to the dollar store in Rayleigh here. They will give it to you, my son. Wow. They are they are they are a set up for us to succeed. So the government has to come down. Now they go to the dollar store now. They keep in the photo to sell also. Now they need a retail selling when they sell it. So we can sell, we send our children to school. So we can sell, we'll be able to support our children. So our children will not get on the street with no food. We're not able to get us on the children, so we'll not put the children on the street. So, so how much you give them, man? That is business supporting. I, I will not allow my son. I guess yes. Yes, yes. Oh, boy, one year. And all of them going to school. I tell God, every one of them going to school. And I find that business is supporting them. I find that business by the grace. Okay, so there you have it. And it will interest you to know that this lady is not the only person. This has been a concern from Liberians, time in and time out. Um. A situation where you go to the store, you purchase uh, in wholesale, and the guys in the various stores do sell retail. Is, is there a way? Is there any way possible that this issue can be curbed? From 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 the look of things, uh, given that Liberians have consistently expressed concerns about this issue, is that is there any way possible? Rudolph, let's start with you. Do you see any possibility of 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 this government solving this age old problem? Where do you think the government can start from in the first place? Nelson, I mean, what you mean with solving the problems of wholesale retail and wholesale? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Nelson, these things will always exist. It's not a, a problem that is unique to our country, no. Okay. This, I mean, if you, you travel to other parts of Africa, I mean, these things exist. I mean, I feel like, to be, be honest, it, it's <laughs> going gonna to be very hard for the government to just get rid of the, this thing completely. Because, I mean, they, those two in the, those in the whole, wholesale store, will tell you you that we are not having customers because those people who who come to buy our wholesale products they mm -hmm. are they don't have money anymore to come and buy so now they come to buy it by re retail and if we just sit down and say we will sell by retail our sale will not make profit i, I mean sorry by whole by wholesale, wholesale. will not make profit but i think there should be some some kind of law uh, I mean, like, so, like you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a law that has to pass through the the legislature. But I think, I mean, the president needs to come up with maybe some kind of ex executive order of sort that will will help to to minimize this thing or to curtail it in a way that other other people will will I mean will will also so benefit from from their their retail market because. When I when I, I listen to, to that lady Nelson, I mean I feel bad for her. She has six kids. And the the and the only means of of survival is for her to go in the market and sell. And if if she cannot not make profit from what she is doing, then that means that we are going to have six kids being dropped out of school and maybe getting on the, the on the, the street. Which is going to be more of a problem again. Uh, uh, Rudolph, Rudolph, on a very serious note, the issue of wholesale and retail mm -hmm. is it, yes, I agree with you that there are other places that these things are happening, but it's, is it good for an economy like ours, a country where majority of our citizens are the ones involved with petty trade? You go to the stores, majority of the people in the stores are the aliens and foreigners who come to the country to do business. Now, is this, is, is this something that is that is okay for our own economy, for no, the local nothing. people, the ordinary nothing. Liberians down there who are relied on petty trade to be able to feed their family, uh, their, their, their families? Nelson, this, I mean, these things would never be okay. I mean, if I come here and tell you that it's, it's okay, then I mean, I would be doing a disservice to myself and the people that, that are listening to me as well. So I will not, not say that, that it is okay. But what I am telling you is that 
he has as much as it's not okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, getting rid of it as well is not is not easy. Okay, you cannot not just woke up one day or or maybe in one one year and you just get rid of this all to, together. It's not wholesale possible. and retail. Yeah, it's, now, it is not possible. Okay, so we're gonna bring Mr. King on, but Tennessee, you 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 want to weigh in your thoughts on this? What do you think about? Uh, what do you make of this whole thing about wholesale and retail being done at the same time by uh, the folks who are in the stores or involved with uh, the, the the wholesale? Oh, now, see, it is a hard thing to say. Um, right now, the local market women they are suffering, but it. I, I will be honest. Business is competition. There's no other way to call it. Once you are a business man or woman, you should be very competitive. If you are going to the supermarket and the supermarket is selling wholesale, however, they, they, they have they, they have retail in their store, you yes. now incorporate ideas how you can reach your customer. For some of you that did business management, in business management, you must be able to strategize every single way that you can you you gotta come up with things to attract your customer so i would say to this mother of a six children you got six children i know one of the skills that liberians we are lacking is customer service skills we we don't have that we feel that the people that we serve they owe us something now that you went in the supermarket they are doing retail guess what go into your into your neighborhoods and start to tell people what it is that you're selling. Get outside. Sundays, the days that you are not selling. Go mm. into your local community. Start to come up with strategy that you will reach your customers. But business is a competition. No other way to put it, my brother. No mm. other way. So, so, so uh, is this competition a fair one? Is, 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 is it even going to be fair at any point in time? Given no. that the, 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 those those local business people, they rely on the very wholesale people to make a living. Mm-hmm. They rely on them for supplies. They will go there, whether they like it or not. Every single day, they will go there to get um to get the items. They will go there. They will, they will just have to go there to buy from them. Mm-hmm. But then, in the same in the same vein, the very people who are supplying them to come back to be their competitors. Yes. Is, is that, this competition a fair one? The com- it's, it's not fair, but I would say to um, an economy like Liberia, mm-hmm. let me tell you, this is not our biggest problem. Mm-hmm. It is not. And it will not be fixed in the next two to three years or four years, maybe even a decade or plus. But what I would say to those people that want to say, oh, they level me or this other people who are they they, they are coming into our country and taking our job. What mm-hmm. I would say to you or re strategize Liberia is your country. Then nobody know Liberia like you. Mm? Mm-hmm. You speak the local dialect, and I would say to the local market women, connect with your citizen, connect with those people that you are serving. Let the wow. competition begin. You can Look. speak Basa. And then language that you can speak. The Leonie make it speak back. Tennessee, Tennessee. I'm going to interrupt you there a bit. I'm going to interrupt you. Marie, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to interrupt you there a bit. Marie, uh, sorry, uh, Tennessee, this competition we're talking about is like the rich trying to fight the poor. Now, someone once said to me in a conversation, um, the person said, Nelson, there are are very few things that will that is not easily possible in this world. Number one, the rich cannot easily fight the poor and succeed. Mm. Number two, the rich, uh, sorry, the poor cannot easily fight the rich and succeed. Mm -hmm. Number two, the rich cannot easily fight government and succeed. Number three, government cannot fight God. You know, so taking a look at that, Coming back to this situation, those people are at the bottom of the ladder. The suppliers are maybe in the middle and the manufacturers are all the way up there. Mm. Given the competition we're talking about, is, 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 is there any way you think government can intervene 
to uh, create a level playing field here where um, maybe if you are a wholesaler, you do wholesale. If you are into retail, you do retail. If you are a manufacturer, you be up there at that level. I I is there any possibility where uh, everyone who falls within certain category, within certain area can, 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 can have the exclusive right to operate within that range? It is possible, however, in an economy like Liberia, it will yeah. not be effective like the way you and I want it. It is easy for the, 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 the rich to bribe the government and those that come in a, in a facility to even do that, that, that check. If I am employing a tax collector to come and make sure that I'm only doing wholesale in my, in my store, guess what? I got money to shut his mouth. If he walked to the door, if I gave him two, three thousand dollars, do you think he's going to report me to the to the top? A economy like Liberia, very unfair to the local people. It will be very hard unless somebody that have our people at heart stand against these people. Wow. So uh, now, uh, Ma Marie, I'm going to come to you, but I just want to highlight a comment here. I, I want to highlight two comments here. The first one is from Lincoln uh, Walker. Lincoln Walker, he's following via Facebook. And he says, it's not fair. At the same time, it's not a crime for those in the stores to sell in retail. It will only be left with the willingness of those in the store to decide if they want to stop selling by, uh, selling by in retail or not. Now... Mm -hmm. The next one is from YouTube. The next comment I want to highlight here is from YouTube. And this one comes from Gabriel Buema. He says, in business, some people have competitive advantage. How do you overcome the competitive advantage if uh, of a wholesaler who undercuts the price of retailers? Thank there you. is an unfair advantage there. Yeah. And, and, and right at this point, I want to come to you, Marie. What do you think? is a solution here what do you think can be a solution here for a government that's just coming in about two months two months or a little over two months staring the affairs of the country what do you think can be a great way to start in terms of addressing this particular issue um thank you for having me nelson i want to disagree with rudolph and my sister here and the person that made a comment as well. Um, they're saying it's not a crime, but it is a crime depending on the license this person hold. Mm -hmm. If you have a license to do wholesale and you do not have the right to sell retail, that is what you should be doing, selling wholesale, okay? I believe that um, the problem is the government. Um, the people are saying on uh, I, I, my sister here said unless uh you know you get someone that have the people at heart, but isn't that what a government should be? Isn't that what a good government should be to have the people at heart? Librarians, the the lady specifically said in her in her video, um, uh, I'm in your video, Nelson. She said that the government put a law before and told those people not to sell retail, retail, right? They should only sell wholesale, but instead they're going against the government, which is a crime. Meaning there is a law that was already given to them, but it's the implementation, the poor implementation of the government to hold them accountable for what they want them to do. That's where the problem is, okay? Just because somebody have money, I don't think it has to do with what language somebody speak. Because those people are even hiring Liberians to be the doer of their bad deeds. You go into stores in Liberia, there are Liberians within those stores that will lure you over and have you buy from their people. So I don't think um, trying to connect with the buyers is what it is. If I'm taking my money as a as a retail seller, uh -huh. I come to your store buying with the expectation that people from outside will be buying from me. But then you go behind me again with and start selling to the people from outside. 
retail, something I'm supposed to be selling. They're taking double money and cheating the people out. And what they tell the people is we have your government in our pocket. How should that be fair? Wow. Thinking this situation should be brought to the attention of Mr. Moda because he's the comments minister. And he should understand that the people have to sustain themselves and their family. They say all the time that librarians are lazy, librarians don't want to do anything. But then when they venture into something that they want to do, the privileged people are taking advantage of them and the government officials are sitting there and allowing it to happen in their own country. What can they do? Mm. No, um, this is very interesting. But Marie, let's look at it. And Rudolph raised a very important point uh, relative to what you just spoke of. Okay, I think Mr. King is all set up now. We're about to bring him on. But but just, just a quick one. Um, Rudolph made a very important comment with respect to what you just highlighted. He said that the wholesalers, let's take, for example, the man has a license to do wholesale, to operate a store, right? But then, um, to some extent, he's not getting that 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 uh that flow of customers that will commensurate with his expectation <clears throat> and all of the uh bills and everything associated with uh, the very license he has to operate to get his business moving on instead of having the wholesalers moving on uh mo moving to that particular business center in the uh, in, in the numbers you have people going there in their numbers who want to do retail yeah. though this man has a license to do wholesale, but the people he's getting in the majority going to him are those wanting to do resale, uh, let's say uh, retail. Mary, in this case, don't you think it's going to be at the disadvantage of that man? Don't you think he's going to be losing if he just decided to do um, wholesale and wholesale only, despite the fact that he has a lot of people trooping um, um, at his business center wanting to do re uh, retail? That is business, right, Nelson? You get into what you feel like you want to do. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's a problem for them to sell retail. Yeah. But we shouldn't limit Liberia to, oh, when people have money, they can do whatever they want. If you want to do both retail and wholesale, get the license for it and do it right. Our country is not an all law country where anybody can come and do something because they feel like they got the government in their pocket. They are selling retail because they want all the money. And I can guarantee you they are not selling it no other price than the people outside are selling it. So no, it's not okay for them to do the retail because you have a license for wholesale. So which means you are choosing to break the law because you want money. Everybody want profit. They are not the only one that want profit. The retailers cannot just wake up tomorrow and go and build a store and do the same and say, I will sell okay. retail and sell wholesale at the same time. There are laws. If you come to a country and want to invest and want to do business, you get into the business that benefits you. And that is the scope they choose, wholesale. And okay. if their business, there are losses in businesses. So it's okay for the retailers to be losing outside, but it's not okay for them to lose only because they have the resources. Okay. So um, uh, now uh, we're going to take 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Uh, uh, Mr. King is going to come back on. I think he's, he's, he's having some connection issues. But, 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 but Rudolph, uh, take 20 seconds. We're going to come back to Tennessee. Yes. Um, I mean, Mary, Mary, I mean, you are making some good, good points. But, um, you know, having a store does not necessarily mean that you are doing wholesale the the argument that this lady was making in her and, 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 and i want us to go back to the argument a bit let's yeah. let's go back to the argument a bit okay. uh, let's see if we can have uh this one here okay so let's 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 get her back let's listen to and, uh, no, wait, can I tell you my son wow they sell one pack of spaghetti in the store they had a sales it was succeed. So, on one cartoon, God bless you, I get far away a plenty. When if they say the poor are not selling by retail, if I hear they say 10 or 11 cartoon, the father will sell it for me. But they don't do it. Even in a uh, pull-up people store, they sell one pack of spaghetti in the store. 
They had the stress it was succeed. They say this will not succeed. Wow. Because they said it will be One part of the security is going to not sell it. They will come outside and buy it from us. But the people just are selling one part of the security. You want one baby so they will sell it to you. Anything that you want in retail, you go to the garage store in real here. Yeah. They will give it to you, my son. Wow. They have they are they are a study of how to succeed. So the government has to come down. Now they go to the various owners. They keep in the photo to sell also. Now they need a retail selling when they sell it. There you have it. They came in this country to sell wholesale. Let them lead the retail selling with the citizens. Let me welcome Emmy to the show. Emmy, welcome. Yes. Marsha, it's good to have you on the yes, so can I so can I continue? Yeah, you, you can you can you can take your 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 twenty seconds. But yes. the lady is saying that if not for the resale, uh, the, the 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 retail that the wholesalers are doing, she would have sold a uh, triple of what she sells per day. But because they're also doing retail and doing wholesale, it limits the amount she's supposed to sell a day and that is all by itself taking away from what she could generate on a daily basis to take care of her family just take 20 seconds quickly so um like i was was saying right having a store does not necessarily mean that you are operating on a wholesale level that's very little that is talking over there her business when it starts to grow she will eventually get us a, a store and start selling. But the argument she was was making is that the people with store, because and let's be frank, I mean I I have gone throughout the whole labor business registry website. I don't see anything that I talk about giving people license for wholesale and re retails sales. That is how it is supposed to be. But sadly, that is not the case. Or, I mean, what she is saying is, okay, these people have big, have bigger stores. For us, we are just petty sellers. So they should give, so we go and buy from them in life, uh, in what, wholesale and come sell as a retail. But that doesn't restrict those people in the this, this store to be wholesale sellers. They don't, like, there is, like, like I said, I oh, so, so, but, but Rudolph, Rudolph, in the spirit of mm -hmm. nationalism, now, right. that is different in, but in the spirit of bring the law into it that's where i am coming from okay is, thank you thank is, you 20 seconds is no just law that is visible here to me thank you that, thank you that that shows thank you that we are giving Tennessee, the wholesale license in store in real life thank you Tennessee, you want to take uh your 20 seconds quickly we get uh, emmy to come in and then we bring in our guest you are muted, Tennessee. I just muted you. Let me unmute you. Go ahead. You're unmuted. We do not have evidence that these people only have license for wholesales. Okay, we we have to be honest with the uh, the market women, even the the, the 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 people that are in our country, the learning everybody that are doing business. Business is competition. I said it, and I will say it again. If you cannot stand the heat, you get out of the kitchen. These people are paying higher taxes, and if people are not going in to buy in large quantity. Guess what happened? That taxes will not, their obligation will not be met. I will not say because they have stores, unless I personally go and see a license that will say wholesale only. Then I have the right to say, you know what? You are obligated to only do wholesale. At the end of the day, it's a competition. Thank you. Um, Emmy, you want to weigh in your thoughts on this quickly? Yeah, Um, I was listening in the back. Um, how you doing? Um, I think Mar Marie struck a lot of good points. These people, they are in the market. They know who sells wholesale and who sells the retail. They know that it's not so much a retail. Uh, uh, um, I don't think she's she's uh, complaining because they have a store. No, those are the people that sell the wholesales. They know them, and they they they. If they will make remarks that your government like in our pockets, they know what they're talking about. They're not just I don't that lady is not just standing there making accusations and just talking because she wants to talk. There is a law I heard in Liberia that restrict people from doing that. The Liberianization okay. policy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they know what they're talking about. They will not just get up and just assume that these people are supposed to be doing wholesale if there is not a law there to do it. And they will not be complaining about that. So she knows what she's talking about, and I think it's wrong. And then um, the other, the president has to do like an executive order or 
and me and my dad need to take care of it because it's it, it's putting strain on the on no on the innocent people. Because sometimes they even these people even have to go to the store and take this goose after selling before they paid them. So if you're there and doing both wholesale and retails, and I'm out here struggling, how am I supposed to come and pay you? And they have something on there for my family to eat or to, to something. Like uh, uh, Marie said, we always say, oh, my grandmother don't want to do anything. They are lazy. That some of the, these are some of the reasons, right? They, they, they don't want to become when they feel like they go all day. There's nothing there. And they don't have anybody to fight for them. They don't have the government standing up for them. They had these people telling them, oh, yeah, business is competition, but it has to be a fair playing field. You can't be stepping on my neck. <laughs> you have the upper hand and I can't have any. It's not If it's not fair, then it's not. It's, let it be a, 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 a fair competition. It shouldn't be someone with an upper hand and a little guy all the way down there and he fighting a, a giant. I don't think that's fair. And if you're in a country, you from that country, I think you should you should feel like you know you're in your country. You shouldn't feel like you are. In, this is your home, and then you you have people come that wish you're not. It's no problem at all. People need to come and do whatever and sell and, and follow the law and do whatever. But you cannot be in my country and not be feeling like I'm the foreigner and you are the citizen. These people okay. get tax breaks. These people get tax breaks. They don't. They, they, they have a whole lot going for them that a common Liberian business person do not have. We need okay, to thank that you. in mind. So I think that little opportunity, they, they need to be with them. And they need to keep that instead you of know, fighting us. This, 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 this discussion is very important. We, we, we don't want to keep Mr. King back in the line uh, in, in, no, uh, we, we don't want to keep, keep mr king backstage so long but, but, but i'm coming i'm coming with up <laughs> i'm like i'm like come on I'm 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 like. <laughs> so so we don't want to keep uh, our guests backstage too long right <laughs> but uh Rudolf, we yeah. have laws right we have yeah. laws can you guess, can you we have guess, laws guess so and, 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 and i just want to and, and i just want to go through a, a bit of what we have here okay we're gonna take we're gonna take uh maybe the first edition of the show next week to go in depth in this particular on this particular talking point That's it, says it concerns every single liberian but um there are few laws in fact was a, a newspaper publication on the on the 9th of uh, September in 2019, where uh, the, the the business group Patel, uh, the president of the group, raised some serious concerns with, with respect to this to this issue. Now there were a few uh, legal instruments that were uh, you know uh, 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 quoted in this particular uh, uh, publication. So you take for example. Um, the Investment Act of 2010 gave exclusive ownership right to Liberians in several business activities, including the supply of sand, block making, uh, peddling, travel agencies, re uh, retail sale of rice and cement, ice making, uh, sale of, uh, of, of ice, uh, tire repair shops, auto repair shops, and investment with investment of less than 50,000 United States dollars. Now, if you just look at this, this alone, this particular portion of uh, the investment out of 20, uh, 20, uh, 2010, you will clearly see here that a whole lot, a whole lot has been violated in our country. Who are those that are, that are, that are uh, uh, um, selling sand? They cross, uh, they, they cross rights. Chinese. They are supplying cross rights in our country. China, All right. Yes, China, Recently, China. there was a video of a Liberian lady whose land has been invaded by the Chinese. Those people, I'm trying to see if I still have the video here. The guys are money sent on her land. Okay, so this is the video here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, like I said to you guys when I was on the beach, that the Chinese were digging on the money, my property, and digging the black sand. That heap of black sand you saw, this is a finished product. 
This is how the baggage is it and, and exported all of our country. Mass and mass of same black sand load from your straight out of this country. Nobody check on them, nobody nobody does anything about it, but they take the amount of mineral from all of our country and export it. Trucks and trucks loads of sand leaves their country every day, according to the Chinese people. When you ever go to China and, and, and even touch the beach or their land, the Chinese people for little or nothing now. On the money in this country, all over this place. This is what I'm talking about. This is the finished product. There's another side, you see it? Mass and mass and This is it. This, this is just a portion of what we're talking about here. You know, Marie, I know you want to come in, but <laughs> we we have our... Okay, take 20 seconds quickly. Yeah. I just wanted to say, Nelson, there are laws, and I'm telling you, our government officials are the problem. The implementation, they just want to go in the house and say they wrote laws and they, 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 they wrote a bill, okay? Do you know the constraint these people put our people through just to even buy the wholesale goods in their stores? Where they, where they, the whole quote unquote, they are a hotel seller, so they cannot carry Newate overseas to buy in the body of continue. They make these people change their Newate to US dollar before you can buy from the store wholesale. So that Thank you will go buy her, her, her spaghetti, change all her Newate into US dollar, buy the spaghetti in their store. Carry what's that? Then they move from behind her and go sell spaghetti one one in, 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 in their store too. Are you kidding me? And the government officials sit there and does nothing about it. Thank you, Mary. Just a love, just for me to put you inside, Nelson. Just to put you inside, Nelson. So, 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 so uh, guys, we have, we have to, we have to bring our guest on. Is the investment out of twenty ten? The investment out of twenty ten. The investment out of twenty ten. You can check that up. Uh, you know, and, and 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 you you can just go through that I as we, uh, a as bit of what and you can also search the small uh, Liberia small business out of 20, uh, 15, uh, 2015. And uh, and you can also uh, check out the Liberianization policy as well. These are documents that will provide detailed information on this particular issue. But um, um we want to bring in our uh, guest, Emmy. Our co-moderator, Amy, Marsha Territory, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Just thank one you quick very point, much. Stop, stop silencing me. Yeah. Can I, so, I, I, I mean, we'll we actually do a closing. We're going to do a whole closing. No, you Marie said time. something. I just want to add just one, two words. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Two go words. ahead, please. Make that four. But anyways, <laughs> as Marie was saying, right, that they're, they're strangling these people. Their prices. If I'm buying wholesale, I think I should be able to get something off of it. Not selling something to me for for something that is so outside for eight dollars, and you send it to me for seven, uh, 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 what seventy five, and then all all is all that I have on it is twenty five cents, and then you come in behind me to 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 to, to run competition with me. I just wanted to put the price thing on it too. That's all. okay. Thanks a lot, Emmy. Now, quite recently, we saw the energy that the LDA boss uh, uh, came to this process with. Colonel A.B. Krumah was very energetic. He started off being very vocal, and he, he didn't hold back when it comes to uh, the plans he has uh, in fighting drugs in Liberia. Now, I remember under the previous administration, there was one situation that I, I will never forget all right uh there was this guy who was uh appointed at the LDEA and um his first two weeks or so in office they made some arrest and a few days after the arrest he came back to the to the uh he had a press conference at that press conference he said Following the arrest he made, he received a series of calls from higher ups. They were calling him consistently, telling him that some of the people were his interest. And he sent a caveat at that particular press conference that if anyone, if any of those higher ups dare call him again, he was going to name and shame those people. It didn't take long, uh, less than two weeks, the guy 
was relieved of that position. Now, it, it speaks to how much, you know, difficulties we have associated with this whole fight against drugs in our country. Colonel A.B. Kermai came to the picture, took on the fight, but in no time, he had a very important press conference. At that conference, he spoke of the high level of corruption, expressed serious disappointment over what's going on at the borders with the involvement of some members of the joint security who he did not name. And he said, if that continues, he's going to be left with no option but to withdraw his guys from the borders. Well, what, 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 what sort of impact would this have on this fight against drugs in our country? If, 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 if that were to be the case, and if, if we were to get at that point where he's caught between the rock and the hard place to make that tough decision. Well, we want to talk about this issue tonight, and um, we've decided to bring on Mr. King, Mr. Charles King. He's uh, known as Coach King. He's, uh, he comes with huge expertise in security and all of that. And he's going to bring in, he's going to throw some light on this uh, particular discussion tonight. And and so let's bring in Mr. King. Mr. King, welcome to the show tonight, sir. It's good to have you on. Thank you very much. Good evening, panel. Thank you very much for the invitation. Okay. So I want to say thank you very much. Um, you can hear me? But, yeah, we can hear you, sir. We can hear you. I want to say thank you very much for being so patient in the background. I saw you were just uh, kind as we tried to delay you a bit in the background, uh, but you were patient enough to come on. So you shared um, some very important uh, information with us tonight, which we appreciate a whole lot. So Mr. King, thanks for being on here tonight. Are you, are you there? Can you hear me? For Yes, for some reason, as I texted you earlier, it's in, uh, you're breaking up, and and I had problems logging on. That's why it took so long to get on, and so okay. it's breaking in and out. You you can hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We okay, can hear you. before you proceed, when you go further, what you when I inter, when I entered, I heard you all talking about the sand issues, but that's another one. Let's go yeah. here. I will give you my comment on that one. But let's go with this one, please. Hello, Mr. Yeah, no, no, if, 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 you have, if you have a comment to make on that, you can make that comment just before we move to the actual issue. Well, you see, I saw that circulating to, on the internet. And fr from an investigator's view, I asked certain questions. And one was, the person who took these pictures of the sand, Paula, I want to know how, what, where was she or anyone at that time when all this sand is being piled up? Now, remember, I don't know who the person is, but if the sand is there, it must have taken some time for it to get there. Who put it there if it was in the backyard or where someone was? Did anyone film the people doing this? These are okay. questions that I have to ask myself as an investigator. Okay, and then the thing is, you have to stand there. She mentions that it's being taken out of the country. How does she know? Has anyone followed the 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 from the point A to point B? All of those things have to be compiled together before you blame or or, or you accuse the court Chinese people. Okay. Okay. Well, and and, and two people. Yeah. It could be four people. I don't know. But these are these are questions that you have to ask as an investigator. That's my question. She has enough time to film this, okay. but why was no time to film this process? Look at all those bags of sand. It's not done in one day. It must be over a period of time. That's okay, you know my thinking as an investigator. I don't know who the 
Okay. Thanks a lot, uh, Mr. Mr. King. I, I, I don't know, for some reason, you... You're breaking up. up. Yeah, you keep breaking up for some reason. But it's, um, it's, 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 a, it's a good thing that we have you on tonight, sir. And um, we appreciate you uh, accepting our invite to come on tonight. I just want us to keep start the conversation from here. Um, you follow the happening. Um, you follow the comment from... Um, the LDEA boss and um, the frustration he expressed as someone who came to this office with so much vigor to fight uh, illicit drugs in our country, uh, wanting to, to see to it that there's some transformation in that sector. When he made that comment, when he spoke of the level of corruption practice at the border, his disappointment in some members of the uh, joint security and, 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 and the very plain, you know, the very issue he's contemplating and the very action he's contemplating on taking. What does that say to you as a security expert? What does that say about this fight against drug, illicit drug in Liberia that so many people are concerned about? Uh, could there have been a better way for the LDEA boss to have said this particular thing? Does it have any security implication? Now, let, let's take on the conversation from here. Let, let's hear you on this one, sir. And um, the rest of the panelists will come in at some point to ask you some questions. Okay, now I'm going to talk short and stop because we're breaking up. Yeah. Now, number one, when you take over this assignment, mm -hmm. You know what you are going to be facing. You can't tell me you don't know. You just said corruption and drugs. So you know already. Number two, if there's corruption involved, you that's what you are there for. You cannot expect cooperation from anyone unless they want to. So you have to begin to focus on your own plans for this action. By you withdrawing your agents, that's not what you're supposed to do. Your agents are there to conduct their investigation to prevent drugs by searching. Now, I don't know, is this searching done in the nighttime? And if it's done in the nighttime, are there sufficient lightings? Are there sufficient observation? If so, if no lights, I'm asking now, if there are no lights, why is it that you don't pass, get to the legislature or get somewhere to the enforcement era to stop the movement of, of vehicles over uh, uh, after sundown, six o'clock, seven o'clock in the evening, if you have no lights? If you have lights, then that is the purpose of the drug enforcement officer. They have to go ahead and inspect the vehicles. They have to inspect everything. You don't wait for the police to tell you that. You see, I, I, did everyone hear what I said? There was no breaking, right? Yeah, you're good. You're good, sir. Okay. That's what I'm saying. You're a drug enforcement officer. You're supposed so to be inspecting. You, you, you just, you're supposed to inspect the vehicles and inspect packages coming in. That is what you should do. That's your responsibility. You know what you do. You know what you're going to be confronting when you sign on. Once you talk the oath and you've been confirmed, do your job. But by pulling people away, you've defeated the purpose. So, so are, are you saying that he shouldn't have made that particular comment? No, he should not. Could have. They in a way, undermine the process. He should not have made it. If you know there's corruption, then you take your agents to do background investigation and undercover investigation to get everybody involved. If the police personnel or other security personnel are involved, that's what you're there for. But, but, Mr. King, I, I want us to look at this you, from, you from, think, from another angle, right? Um, this is someone who's in um, a very sensitive position. Uh, he carries the whole weight of coming up with strategies, plans, you know, working with his team in the field across the country to ensure that 
uh, the combat illicit drug in the country. Don't you see that comment as someone voice, uh, voicing out a serious disappointment about a process that they want to see being carried out the right way? Don't you think that that comment all by itself to some extent drew some attention to the very assignment he has and that will you know get the the relevant support and everything coming in be it from the very joint security he's spoken of or you know some other people who should come in with some sort of assistance to to, to get this process moving on you have the senate just the other day i read in the paper that this uh the senate Uh, Mr. King, are you there, sir? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, I'm here. As I said, we're breaking in and out. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, the chairman of the Secu uh, Senate Committee on Security. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He said he has developed intelligence and he's going to take steps towards reducing the crime in Liberia. You can remember? Everyone heard that, read it. Mr. Bala, did you read it? The Senate. I don't think I did. The chairman of the Senate Committee on Security. Uh, yeah, uh, Senator Momo Cyrus, right? Of uh, yes. Norfolk County. Yes. Yeah. He said he was doing that. So I commented on in the newspaper. He should, he's not supposed to be investigating. He's supposed to be giving the funds, the Funding to this, he is there to help pass laws. So if he wants to, wow, really help the security. Can you hear me, Logan? I'm coming. Pardon? Yeah, go ahead, Mr. King. Let, let's try Pardon? again. Yeah, go ahead. What did someone um, say something? No, uh, okay. So you want to log out and come back? You want to log out and, and try to come back in? So we get that. Yes, I will okay, do. But, 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 but I think you, be you're much come. better now. I think you're much better. Can you take off from where you stopped? Yes, I said that the Senate... I said the Senate... You're okay, Mr. King. I said the chairman of the Senate committee to provide the funding mm -hmm. for the securities to carry out their functions. It is not his responsibility to be investigating and reducing crime. He's there to provide the necessary people they confirm to do the job. That's what he's supposed to do. And if he can't do it, then why he confirm the people? Huh. Funding to the to to the DEA people and let them conduct the undercover investigation and, and, and arrest those who are involved. Okay, so uh, we 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 we're gonna uh, give the floor to um, the panelists to ask you two questions each. We don't want to hold you that long, and um, so we're gonna start with uh, Mary. You have a question. Maybe we can start with you, and then we move to Amy next, Rudolph, and then Timothy. Sure. Um, but you cannot. I did But you cannot expect cooperation from people who are cor corrupt. That's not. Okay. You can't expect no cooperation. So yeah. So so so, uh, Mr. King, uh, Mary has a question. Uh, yes. Yeah. So let's let's give her the floor so she can in with her question, sir. Yes, I'm not familiar with the situation. However. Based on what I've heard so far, Mr. King, don't you think, sir, that removing him after he has said that corruption or uh, there were people, you know, in higher power involved? No. Basically, no, no, proves no, no. Let, 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 let me let me let me come in a bit. Uh, I was just citing something that happened several years ago under the okay. previous administration. So uh, the issue at hand is the comment made by uh, the current LDA boss that uh, expressing disappointment 
in uh, some members of the Joint Security and talking about this whole issue of corruption and the bonus is what he what he has in mind. Yeah. And that he will withdraw his guys, he said. Yeah. No, he just people. played out that, that clip. Yeah. Right? Probably. Yeah, so I I'm gonna try to get it. Um it's a whole clip here from the press conference. But yeah, but go ahead. Go ahead, Mary, while I try to get it on. It can, can somebody else go before me? Because who was okay, removed? So, so. I'm sorry, I'm confused. Who was removed? <laughs> no, no one was removed. Okay. He said he will remove his agents if whatever he said. Okay, so let me, I'm not too familiar with it either, but I think I, I got a little bit. If. Um, Mr. King. But what I'm saying to you is that cannot expect cooperation from people who are corrupt. That's what you're there for. You're there to okay. investigate and uncover those corrupt people. So you can't remove your people because, oh, oh because someone not doing something so devil, I bet I will move. No. <laughs> That's what okay. Thank you. Uh, Emmy, you want to come in? Yeah, so um, I said that comment sound like so throwing tantrum, but um, Mr. King, I just wanted to ask you: Should he be asking for um permission at the or his people at the border to check before they do their job? I mean, should the border patrol or whatever? I don't even know how it works at the border, but whoever, whatever joint security are there. Is the D do the D DEA have to ask permission from them before doing their jobs? No. 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 Okay. No. The DEA uh, agents carry out their functions. They don't so, have to then, so, so then no. why is he throwing tantrum and threatening to withdraw people? Uh, I don't understand. I don't that. I really don't know. All I'm here is to give you all what I feel from a professional standpoint, my views. You are there to uncover corrupt practices. So go ahead and do it. Because you talk, you say, I don't care who is involved. That's the big talk you said. So do it. Right. Do it. No one forced you. You said, I would do it. So do it now. Then you I mean, at this at this, this point, I honestly don't have any question. Actually, I mean, I'm trying to to listen to the actual tape, and and from what I see here is an uh, is an is an eleven minutes long tape. So, because I mean, I did not follow this, so I'm trying to get informed before I can skip, skip or ask a question. Can't look at that, Mr. Minister of Finance. How about you, Tennessee? You see, we're going to the Yeah, we do you have any questions for Mr. King? Oh, uh, Mr. King, um, this whole DEA, when he came and told the Liberian people that regardless of who is in charge when he catches anybody committing crime he will call them out what do you think that change that making him speak different language now no if i try to speculate i would be wrong all i'm saying to you If Mr. Mr. King, I think you're gonna have to Mr. go King. out and come back in. Hold on. Your connection okay, is I'll, pretty. Let me go out and come back again. Okay. Yes, Can I just it is. Say let me go out me? and come back again because. Um, okay. Yeah, that is. Let me go out and try to come back again okay okay go ahead marie okay i also do not want to speculate however right 
I think the call out is what he's doing to tell the Liberian people there are there are people involved in the corruption that is beyond his um his authority. And if you have people undermining your authority and you have people basically pushing you to the corner, I believe that his men are not giving the opportunity to explore and, and do what they can, right, at the border. So if there are people limiting them, he feels like this is beyond his control. Okay. But this is why I asked if they needed like uh permission before doing that job, you know. Well, you know, get, for people to give them permission, if not, then... they are joined. Um, I believe that at the border they also have immigration officers, right? He's mm -hmm. LDEA and they are immigration, so right. this could be deep within immigration, and it could be like people that he's already met there within the immigration sector, right? And if they're already there, they have more people on their side, probably limiting him. There's there's probably really nothing he can do but air them out. And, and I think that's what we would expect him to do when he sees something going wrong to inform the Liberian people that there is corruption and there is corruption within the top government uh, uh, areas. And But I think, um, I, I agree with Mr. King the best thing is not to air them out prematurely i think more investigation to get evidence and everything he needed before he can come out there would have been the best thing to do in my but nelson Suarez is saying that i don't know if you got the recording but sorry saying that he he said that he was going to withdraw the, the old ones out there and replace them with a new something so, yeah, but, but the, the, the withdrawal all by itself is the issue that is of concern. Now, with, when we when you talk about the joint security, mm -hmm. you're not just talking about, um, you're not just talking about the LDEA, for example. You're speaking mm -hmm. of folks from the immig uh, from the immigration, the Library Immigration Service. You're speaking of folks from um, um, other security operatives. Those people make up the joint the security. joint security, right? All right. So um, the, the the whole idea of a removal. Okay, Mr. King is is, is good to have you back on the show. The whole idea of a removal all by itself is something that speaks volume to this process, the fight against drugs. And now um, I, I want to come in. Uh, who 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 exactly had the flow? I was I was off. Uh, me was it okay you had the flow okay so so you want to go just before i come in uh with so mr king um there's a commenter in the comments saying that he did not say he was gonna remove them and i think he's trying to like remove and replace so do you think that he was trying to remove people the the ones that are there now at the borders are one with a lower rank or they can't handle the situation, and he's saying that he will pull them out and pull people who can better handle the situation. Do you think that's what he's trying to say? Or because I understood it, I said he was just going to withdraw them. That's it. But to withdraw and replace. You're muted. Hello. Well, wow, Mr. King, can you unmute? He's frozen. Yeah. You're wow. muted. Can, can you unmute? Uh, I'm trying to do this, but it's, for some reason it's not. Is it nice it's not it's working good. from my end. Um, It's not working for my end. Mr. King, you have to unmute. You have to unmute. Uh, unfortunately, I just can't unmute you from here. You have to unmute. Mm -hmm. Click on the microphone uh, icon uh, right on your screen, and you will be unmuted. I can't do He's it from frozen. my end. It's frozen. Okay. So there seems to be an issue here. Uh, maybe um, beyond our control. He's better, Nelson. 
Oh, and sorry. and and Konya Lofa is saying he is yes, smart. Konya, come on, man. Why why are you going all the way there? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, so I think this is. I talked to us too. I, I, that's what I talked to on uh, Lean Lapo. I tell JMB is supposed to be the only one, like, you know, higher up uh, there after so anybody who could deal with him. We can, we can get him. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll have to get him to go out and maybe he can come back. But I, I think we'll have to make um, a quick uh, transition on this. Uh, let's let's give uh, Mr. King a few minutes uh, mm -hmm. and, and see if we can get him. If not, then we can uh, go ahead and make our transition because we have to take calls from our folks out there as well. And um, okay, yeah. so Rudolph yeah. is back. Yeah, so Emmy, you, you want to take on? Yeah. After, I mean, maybe I can say. Yeah, that. so I was saying, um, yeah, when he went, if he actually said that if you remove those guys and replace them, maybe he feel like the ones that are there, they're not doing their jobs. All they're afraid of the people that are there because they've been working with them. And then they had some higher ups there. But the one he was sent there, I mean, there would be more, you know vicious and know how to what to do they will know that there's no one about the law that he's already like maybe trained them and know what what he, who he's sending there so i don't really see that if that's what he's trying to do i don't see that as a something as a problem or whatever if somebody not doing that job you move them and put somebody else there isn't that how it works uh, uh, uh everywhere so i, I was thinking when y'all said it, i was thinking said that he was going to remove these people and just remove them and not care about what's going through the borders anymore. But it, it seems like that's not what he's saying. So I, I wouldn't see it to be anything bad. Go ahead, Marie. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, if I believe it will, if it was just the DEA officers, um, I believe that Mr. Kroma, he's he's capable of handling the situation. Um, I would have thought when he 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 got confirmed, he he put people into place that he he trusted, especially for for the various borders where um you know drugs come in. That would have been the places that that he should have paid attention to more. And I would be disappointed if you know he kept people from the old regime at those very crucial areas. Um, right. But if, if, if the situation is about the joint, joint tax force that include immigrations and, and you know other officers, I think he's simply voicing out his um, stress towards the situation because one person can be fighting for the good and then the other person is sabotaging um, what right. the person is fighting for. And I think um, it can be very frustrating when you, you guys are not on one accord trying to work for the betterment of the people. And he's trying to alert the Liberian people to the corruption that is higher up within the government and you know maybe get the attention of the president to, to probably see into that situation. But if it is just his LDEA guys, I believe that he should get his attention of those various ghettos in Morovia and target those borders and put his best of the best um, to those areas so they can get the job done because the exit and the entrance point where um, things come in and out of the country should be, um, should be more important than the community. Um, drug lords that he's been capturing. Tennessee, you got something to say? What I say is, I believe before this man was appointed, they knew who he were. I believe he should be trusted to make his decision and he should not be undermined um, by authority the higher authority what i see in liberia politics the bigger dogs they eat the smaller ones so mm -hmm. i feel sorry for the da and um that he will have to back down to the big dogs 
when we speak on Liberia politics and we know the unfair justice in our country, and we say it all the time on here, it's true, it's real. This is a man that's supposed to be protecting our borders and drugs coming in and out. But authority, his authority is nothing. And we see every single day doing um, the old regime, how drugs came in our country like, you know, goose. Now, it is up to the Boca administration to do something about it. Okay. Thank you, Tennessee. Um, um, let me welcome uh, uh, Swari. Swari, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. Mr. King, uh, are you back? Are you back for real? Can we can we give it a try finally? Let's see how it works. Someone is saying that your your phone your phone has been hacked. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, on a, I'm on a computer. Okay. I don't know what's happening with it. All my other areas are the same. So. Okay. Uh, Okay, so we, no. we want to we want to uh, zero in on this uh, discussion because we have one more talking point before going to the phone lines to wrap up. But uh, you uh, you uh, you you I, want to? I stated, I stated that I have read in the paper that he said he want would re withdraw his agents because of what was going on at the border. I am replying to that as a, an investigator. You are the DE person in charge of the drug situation. If they do not cooperate with you, you can't withdraw your people. You cannot expect people who are involved in corrupt activities to cooperate with you. There's going to be obstacles. So that's why you have been chosen to solve the problem. That's what I'm saying. If you withdraw the people, you 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 have said, "Oh, I can't handle it." What if so? Quick, so real quick yeah. question: What if he is attempting to withdraw them to send more competent people that he he trusts? That would not be be be. Thin? I would not have commented like that if he had said so. He didn't say so. He didn't say I will withdraw and replace. He said he will withdraw because of the corruption at the border. Okay. And when he stated that in the newspaper, I didn't hear him talking. It was in the newspaper and I didn't see a follow up of that newspaper article to say he changed anything. So you did not listen to the actual. No, no, no. <laughs> I said it from the beginning. I said I read it in the newspaper. Okay. And when I read something and I look for the follow-up, if that if it was not correct, then the person who made that statement or should come back the next day and say it is not accurate. But you wait one whole week or two days, three days, then you talk. No, it's yeah, still. I mean, I, so yes, I, I mean I think he was re referring to, I mean like maybe like a change. I mean. Or, Getting them them out to send yeah. the more competent people already. That's what it, I think. That's fine. I, I I cannot think like that for him. I can only give you what I read in the newspaper, and that's what I responded to. And if you read my, I mean, comments, these news newspapers have head headlines, you know, just so that it can can look catchy. So if you just just follow their headlines, then I mean, well, I no, <laughs> I didn't read the headline. I read the quote. Okay. And then I look for a follow up from other newspapers to okay. correct it. You okay. see, whenever I say something in the newspaper, if it is misinterpreted, I must correct it immediately. Okay. So uh, 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 we want to take um, Swari quickly, and then we take Mika on if they have uh, something to say on this. Then we, we make our quick transition to the next talking point. Um, Swari, you want to go ahead quickly? Thank you very much. Let me say hi to all of our fellow panelists and people listening in Red Line. Um, basically, Liberia is always the way it's like because people don't find interest in certain things that is paramount to the progress of our state. And you will see people coming from all sectors around the place to honor man certain certain effort uh, in the name of their own personal goal. And that has always been the Liberian media. I want to make quick clarity before I give 
the statement, quote by quote, Mr. A.B. Kuman said in the dark, say in newspaper. I think I was struggling to find a recording to send it to Nelson to play. We said, and I quote, that if this continue, because usually at the border of Vera checkpoint on the highway, there's the there's the security screen they call John Security. I had a John Security. The guys I didn't talk right there, John Security stuff, the certain money that they can give to Vera uh, security appoint at those Vera areas, right? So he was fortunate to to be there and saw some of these things going on. Like if they gave 500 LD, for example, the LD are gonna carry 100, the 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 immigration carry 100, the police, whosoever that there that gonna carry something. So he said in that recording that these are things that are supposed to be happening because if a child come here now, you gave he gave you 100 bucks and that child passed with, with drugs and you're not doing your job, there's a problem. So the liberal media sometimes misquote people or they want to do something to make their paper being read or bad. So I want for people to understand this thing. Mr. Kroman said, if this continues, I'm going to withdraw the guys that here and bring another people that are taught that can do the job at the border. So he what? did not say, he did not say, I'm going to withdraw them and nobody will be here. Okay. Right? Excellent. So that recording is there. So we need to make that clarity. Excellent. So Thank, you about, Thank you. The I just about, read what he, what he was said in the paper. But that's excellent. The, the paper just read, the people just quoting that way. I recently, a people came out to say Japan was free from, 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 <laughs> from the, the, yeah, Japan was free from, from, from Sobi. Yeah. And he went, he made fun of, when you listen to a recent, a recent uh, press release, and I appreciate the step he's taking as a LDA oh, boss, but bringing course. the LDA to the people and informing the people on some of, of these things that are happening. 100%. Because, yeah, because, Supporting. because he said he received a lot of calls, I think five to four calls when he received that Mr. Japan has been free. So he went to the sacred court and asked the judge, why is it each of Mr. Japan? Why are you guys free, Mr. Japan? The judge told him, but you can't come and ask me like that. Mr. Japan, stay in jail. If you don't believe, I can give you some uh, some of the guys. You go to the central prison. You say you went there and saw Mr. Japan, Mr. Japan, other guys that were that they put into the court system because he make her understand that his job is to to do the necessary thing by putting the guys in the system. That is the 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 the, 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 the I mean, his, his part of the job is to put the guy in the system where the correctional officer and other judges will take them and make them convenient or free them out of the so one of the things that bureau will not make progress is the issue of people now people just saying things and the action of it is not real quite correct mr Croman literally was misquoted again okay but mr Croman again was a little uh, misquoted by a lawmaker in a very small show by telling people that mr Croman is all in low places and now getting caught running which were clarified by him right on the show right there so these things will happen. People will take quality things or certain things. The issue about George, for me, I'm frustrated about the issue of how, how the issue of George has been fought, basically from the budget coming to people who spin the house media so they can honor my life. Okay. If we will put our hair online, for me, we cannot falsely give our choice to anybody as a government official. But if we will put our hair online for people, I think one of those which I can put my choice in, it is Mr. Kruman. So the okay. issue about drugs, I don't think we should, I don't say we should somehow be critical about them doing their job. But Mr. Kumar has always said if he can do anything to save this president agenda in relation to drugs, he will do it from a packet, he will do it from all over. And that wish is clear about. Let me okay. just so ask I want to bring the benefit of the doubt. Oh, sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Yeah, sorry, let's do this. Let let's let's do do I know, uh, I know, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Remember, I stated, number one, that I read it in the paper. If that is what he said. Yeah. Number two, I also said that the chairman of the Joint Security should provide funding for the Joint Security to carry out this function that he, the chairman, 
who has set up an intelligence gathering and it would appear that he wants to investigate. That's not his role to investigate. His role is to turn it over to people like Chroma and the other joint security mem members to give them the funding. And I agree with you. And I agree I, with you. I, if, if, you know, if, 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 no, no, let's, let's do this in order. This, Sorry. I agree with him. I agree with him 100%. 100%. That, to withdraw. I agree with you, you know. 100%. One hundred percent. So there's no argument there. I agree with him. Okay. I so we, we... Sarah over. Uh, nothing quickly to conclude this. I think Momo Sarah overstated his uh, something that he shouldn't be doing. Right. I listened to that recording too as well. That they're gonna go after some security issue. You as a senator, I know he has an expert as being somebody who being a security senator, but you are a senator now. Your role now, like Mr. King said, is to give the funding to those. So, and it's very frustrating that you see DEA will be operating Thank you. two million. And Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, let's go let's, let's you there, Swari. Swari, Thank let's go you there. You've exhausted your time, sir. Uh, we, we, we have to operate in the time. Uh, we need to give our audience uh, the space to make their contribution to the discussion as well. So, um, Mikaon, you have any input to make? You have a question for Mr. King just before we uh, conclude on this and uh, allow him to uh, go. You are muted, sir. Can you unmute? Uh, so let me just say hello to everyone here tonight. Uh, Mr. King, happy to be here with you again. I always come in later, anything coming on the show. I don't even know you were here tonight. Sorry yeah. for that. But, uh, you know, I really don't have questions. I just have something to say, you know, just a little, you know, point I wanted to make. You know, I, I wasn't, I, I haven't been following the show in a way, but just from what you are saying, I think it's clear that as much as Liberians want to criticize everything in Liberia, or for certain party to see another government failure, I don't think it's a good thing to jump on Mr. Kromar here at this time why are you trying to save our country and our people? Mr. Kroma was very clear. The two key things that he was concerned about when he came to Spoonto the first time I listened to him. He said, my concern with the whole Justin in the position I've been placed in, number one, is human right. He said it clearly. He said, those people I'm going after, I need to protect them as well. If I arrest anybody for crime, for drugs trafficking, or taking drugs or using the, the substance and all that, I have to stay protect them until proving wrong or guilty under the law. That's the key thing he said. That's why he asked the government to provide space for them, which means he needed office space where he can detain people until they go through the court system. And he clearly said that. And he said again, we need time those people who are using the system who are not committing crime but they are using it unknown to them to be rehabilitated to be put back in society and we need the government to fund all that he was clear about that but people coming on here trying to go after him for doing that you don't have co-order you don't have this i mean i think he's sensible enough you know what he's doing yeah. so we should as liberian as a country we should not go i mean go after that man to you know to to, to diminish in any way possible with a good job he's doing for the country that just if he's not doing something right the court will say it or people who working with him with some somehow some will correct him because there's too many security entities in liberia that deal with that issue not just a uh, uh, dea yeah, so 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 that's all i gotta say about it and i think that just that, that just well with mr commander and do a job so Liberia can be drug free because they keep killing our people. I know the next generations. It's not a joke. Right. What? I, I don't you. remember anybody going after him here. Right. No, Thank you. Just I mean, about the comments. And I said you are going after him. I'm not talking about the push. I'm talking yeah, about the exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, um, Mr. King, is is there anything you want to say in closing? Just finally, before we let you go, it's, it's been a good time uh, a time having you on here tonight. It, it's a good thing that you are able to come, and and to have us throw light on this issue because 
it is concerning um, the issue of drugs has affected oh, yeah. so many young people. Almost every family is being affected by this. So it's very important that we talk about it. And mm -hmm. and so we we'll, would we'll love to uh, hear from you. Is there anything you want to say in closing just before we let you go, sir? I just want to say, I understand and know all about the joint security and what the people do at the different checkpoints and all that. That's, I think, joint security before is, is a, it's not a strange thing to me. Mm. I agree with what he has said. When mm. I started, I said, if he said to withdraw, it's not correct because he is there to investigate and reveal the corrupt people. And I know he has a very difficult job, task to do. And I understand that as a law enforcement officer, you have to protect the innocent against the deception and the weak against violence and disorder. That's our code of conduct. So it's automatic. So as long as the chief, and I hope the chairman of the joint security will give heed to what I commented to him with his statement, give the funding to the law enforcement officers, give the funding to Mr. Cromer, give the funding to the proper funding to the joint security so they can in improve the different locations in this fight against the drug and crimes in general in Liberia. But don't, as chairman, take over the responsibility to become another investigative agency. No, you have to investigate your joint security people or you give them the funds. That's what I'm saying. And I support you 100%, Mr. Paul, Mr. Bala, I supported you 100%. That's correct. So so uh, finally, just finally, then we'll let you go. Mm -hmm. From, from the security standpoint, um, how long do you think it's going to take a country like Liberia, given our security infrastructure, to adequately combat this issue of drugs in our country? You need funding. And so, therefore, I hope that Mr. Kroma will reconsider, and I'm going to say this now in your presence, will reconsider the building and all the other infrastructure that he's calling for. You can still make use of the police cells. You can still make use of the prison system when you go through the proper legal process and mm -hmm. divert that money into increasing the salary of your uh, investigators to increase the salary of your investigative processes instead of trying to build a new building, I just hope he will consider that, but he's the boss. So he has to set his priority, but you need the funding to move the people around. You don't need a new jail. You don't need a new building. You can, you can make use of the areas within the police department or in another area. Okay, but I'm just saying that you do not, you have to put the bulk of that money into the salary for your people. You have to wow. give them that 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 wherewithal. Mr. Bala wants to say something, and I love. Go ahead. I don't mind. No, I mean, I just just want to ask a quick, a uh, yes, uh, real please. quick question. Please. Um, given what we have seen in the past, having uh drug lords being locked up, and then like in a day or, or two, we see them being free and roaming around the street. Mm -hmm. Don't you you think that he is making such a because of the fear and maybe lack of of belief in the current policing system? Well, it's not the policing system now you're talking about being released. It's the court system. Yeah, everything, like the, the whole judiciary system. Okay, but then what he should do is focus on the senator, the chairman of the joint, uh, the, the chairman of security, so that they can develop laws and come up, create laws that will protect that will give them the power. And they gave them, that's what the senators, the legislatures are there for, to, to pass laws. So he should feed them with the problem that they're having and let them come up with a law to help prevent these issues. Now, with regards to those people who are being let free, if you investigate the legal, the, the investigative process, are you sure that those people that were let free, if there were the necessary you know you know, you know Mr. King, yeah. so, so. Mr. King, you know most most time is I mean it is not not even just on the, the court most time these these people are found guilty by the court 
and they are locked up in jail and then people in the the in 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 the like those who are at the the cells to the the to the police well, that's that's I, I, mentioned, Mary. I mentioned police like and they and they get so they get authority from higher higher ups to let these people go so within the court those people were found guilty yeah but then, i mean when they are nowhere nowhere to be found what can the court do no the court one 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 thing now as mr Croman mentioned that mm -hmm. he is going to go after everyone responsible no matter what isn't that what he said come on i don't tell me i didn't read it <laughs> isn't that what he said yes or no mr Suare, mr bala yes or no he said it he said yeah he did okay now what has what is he doing to get that information so that he can go after them Wow. Know, because that's what he said. Now you mentioned that the people come in and take action. So what is he doing with those people that come in and take action? You know, you know, they are I mean we yeah. are talking about hey, thank you. Like now, that. now without here. without yeah, without I, we, I don't want us to uh uh when you when you have when you have 20 seconds when you have 20 seconds i exhausted i know uh, you thank you the next person the chance so, Marie, yeah, yeah. We, we just uh we, we, were, we were just about letting uh i'm sorry guys i'm sorry no, i don't you know, i don't so, mind i just so want to Mary? yeah yes yes sir mr mr king sir i wanted to ask um you may mention a little bit of what I was going to ask. You said, what is he doing? Mm -hmm. I do agree that um, like um, a constructing a building specifically for that is not necessary. However, don't you think a separate location based on your interrogative background, yeah. don't you think a separate location is needed for the LDEA where they take these people that they catch and interrogate them in order to catch the bigger fish because that is where you take these people and offer them a deal maybe a lesser jail time and then have them to give out the bigger fish because if you can remember the guy that 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 ran into the upist when he was interrogated by mr chroma alone he said something else which was most most likely the truth okay. but when he then got transferred to the police sector his statement changed totally and said something else okay. so don't you think he's requesting for this particular location to catch bigger fish that will will you know maybe he feel like it will be compromised when 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 it's in that setting yeah like the police fine. are fine yes I agree. In addenda to that, are you do you take in consideration the issue of the help Aza you talk about and that play being deplorable and you look at human rights issue, even those that okay. are alleged to be a drug dealer? Let me mention that to for Miss to answer Miss Marie. Marie, when you are when you are, when you decide to go after the big fish, you don't incarcerate or Give attention to the little fish. You use investigative methods to catch him. You have to use undercover investigation to get everybody in the line in a row. So when you make an arrest, you make all arrests at the same time. It takes careful planning. So so it's de it depends on the technique one uses. Okay, but you want a big small fish to catch a big fish. That's fine. But you gotta make deals, and you don't make it like I've arrested John Brown. Okay, and he's the Small feet, you let him go. What do you think the big person would think? Thank you. Something's happening. So well, you don't you. do that. You don't make a big splash over these small things. You let the person go ahead. You plant your internal people in and do different things. But you think Thank if you have that location, then it won't be necessary to disclose that he have caught the small fish. Instead, he would just take them to that location and get the information he wants. It depends how you want to play it. Each investigator, based on the circumstances, will want to use different methods to catch the big fish. So if I tell you now he should do that, 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 that no, I can't. But I'm telling you that the, the process 
that would be necessary. And when you talk about, someone talk, Mr. Um, Suarez talk about violation of human rights, you cannot go and interrogate someone because even interrogation carries it with it a certain restriction. Because there's a difference between interrogation and interview. When you're interrogating someone professionally, you are getting information from someone who doesn't want to give it to you. And then you are subjected to the constitutional law. When you're interviewing someone, you are interviewing someone who has information to give you. So based on those type of things, you have a success in the court system. Thank you, sir. But you always have to remember, again, Mr. Nelson, that the corpus delicti, the elements of these crimes, is very particular. And the judge, the, 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 the lawyers can use that as, as a loophole. When one element is missing, you cannot charge for that person. You have to be so cautious. You know, you have to be cautious. And I don't want you all to get the impression that just because a person is charged with a drug offense, you can just take him. It's so much involved. But sometimes you have to let that let that small fish go ahead. Proceed. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. King. It's been a great time having you on here tonight. And uh, we look forward to having you here. We appreciate the fact that you always avail yourself when and whenever uh, the need arises. And uh, again, thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate you, sir. Thank you all for, and I'm, I hope that I've done all I can to give you some more information. Thank you. Certainly, yeah. certainly. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. And, and and this is this is important, guys. And I think um, based on time factor now, uh, Maybe maybe we're gonna wrap up early today. <laughs> maybe we're gonna wrap up early today. But uh, you know, this is serious. Uh, the issue with drugs in our country is a serious one, and um, it is important. Like like someone said, uh, it's very important that we we have the authorities giving the necessary attention to this issue, and that uh, all parties involved, all hands should be on deck to ensure that we get to where we want to be. Um. Well, I want us to come back here a little. We were here the other day, and uh, I, I just want us to come back here a little. Okay, from Tapeta to Zweju, the rescue team working hard. Anyway, I made no mistake for Joseph Baka. Thank you, Baba. You know, um, we spoke about this issue the other day, but in no time, this particular image you see here, this video, there has been lots of images surfacing from that particular region. Well, the folks who are circulating these images are doing so to back the statement that the 100 days deliverables are on point. That when the president said no car is going to get stuck in the mud, it's, it's, it's on course. It's achievable. That within the next uh, maybe less than a month or within the next one month or so, absolutely no car will get stuck in the mud. Aside from this video, there are lots of images coming through since we highlighted this particular issue. But, I mean, we can go on talking about this over and over and again. But this, this particular road we see here, let's assume we were to have the rainy season. Now, because the thing here is, there's, there's no pavement going on there. We have pretty close to uh, a month or so and it's going to be pouring down heavily. Nothing like a pavement going on along this corridor. If we were to have the rain coming down today, is the 100 day deliverable still going to be on course with respect to no car getting stuck in the mud? Again, I want you to take a look at this particular image Carly. before coming Carly. back to our, our. Okay, from. Tapeta to Zweju, the rescue team. What, what you just saw there, 
if we were to, to, to have the, the rain start coming down, let, let's assume maybe a month from now, it starts to pull down heavily. Is the 100 days deliverable still going to be on course? No car. Not a single car will get stuck in the mud. Let, let's start with you, Tennessee. You are muted. I mean, we have reached the 100 days. You think so? And I think when the president made that statement, he, it was it was from a place of sarcasm, okay? He was just telling Liberians that when I take over, mm -hmm. I will do better than the current regime. I don't want Liberian people to get it twisted when he, when he made that statement to say, oh, in 100 days. So it is impossible. Liberia have, what, 15 counties or 16? And counties. it would be, I'm sorry to use certain terms on here. It would be delusional of us to think that it would happen in 100 days. But he is doing his best. He is doing his best when the email. Are, are you, are you the trying show. to incorporate the president's statement here? I am. No, Tennessee, so maybe we're not getting something here. The president himself said within 100 days, no car will get stuck in the mud. Can, can you put that video again? Few days to 100 days. I mean, let few weeks to 100 days. Tennessee says the president did not mean to say 100 days, but that was sarcasm. And in fact, the 100 days already on, he meant, he, he meant to say he would do better than the George Ray administration. That's what it meant. I mean, it, you, you know, like Berens, we, we are at that place that we love to be lied to. And for some of us who, who are realists, we, we took this in that form that I interpreted in. The mm. president is doing his best. I don't want y'all to get it twisted and hold it against him to say the 100 day has passed and we are still getting stuck. What the footage is that I just saw, it is 10 times better than the prior regime. Okay? So that is just what I have to say. I'm a strong critic. So anybody that served in government in Liberia, but he is going to do better and we are we are watching. Watching wow. keenly. I, I, I want to move to the engineer a bit. I will come to you, Marie. We will come to you, Emmy, and, and, and Swari. But uh, Mikhail, this this right here before us is the very corridor. What you see here, if if we were to have the rain coming down today, do you, okay, from do you think the hundred days deliverable is still uh is it, 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 going to be a reality? No car, not a single car will get stuck in the mud. Well, uh, Nelson, we had a conversation the other day, and we're coming back to it again, and I was clear about what is it. I was trying to say what the president meant, almost the same thing. Um, look, 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 no, 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 no. Maybe you have to look for, look for, look for, uh, the, 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 yeah. the, the, the question you're asking is very political. And we all no, no, no. I'm not a politician. I'm not asking well, a political. Well, that's question. how a question sound like that you're trying to trying to see something in it. And it's clear. My brother, the president said you guys will have access to the country when you take power in hundred days. And they're doing it. That's the precedent he's setting for you all right there. That we the government going to pave road in Liberia, but we're going to set a precedent by giving you access to every major country in Liberia by doing exactly what they're doing now the question you're asking as to when the ring come you are not clearly know that that road is not a paved road they just give you an access to people to get to where they can get to right now even through the rainy season there will be some place that will still be good but i can tell you it will not be that great you know just they're just no, a no, about you it. know and, and again i don't want you to give me a political answer you are an engineer. That's why I brought okay. this question to you it's first. Really, we, we and I want you to answer this. this question, not from the political standpoint. Uh, 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 Tennessee tried to play around this question, try to interpret what the, 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 the president okay. meant when he spoke of, um, when he spoke of the, uh, how do you call it? The, the, the hundred days deliverable and all of that. But, uh, um, uh, uh, Mikael, yeah. they rule, they rule. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Thank you, Emmy. 
thank you. I, I mean, keep supplying, supporting documents. I mean, thank you for all the photos you just sent me <laughs> of this corridor. I work and probably works. <laughs> That's great. I mean, thank you for all the photos. But Mickey, look at look look at this is one of the photos mm. I mean just sent me. Look at this this corridor. Right. Then it's uh, 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 um, Mickey on. In the case where we had the rain coming down today, this right. corridor that you see right before you here. Mm -hmm. Now, the truth be told, it wasn't right. like this. Like right. Tennessee right. said, it wasn't yeah. like this. Of course. Now, this is the present condition. Now, along this corridor, there were times where people would spend up to a week to get to Grand Jeter County, to get to Zweju. Right. There were, there, there were massive holes in these roads. But now the corridor is like this. But now, given the 100 days deliverable, no car will get stuck. Not a single car will get stuck in the mud. Do you think it's going to be a reality if we if we had the rain coming down today? Well, you know, the, the question can be answered in two, on, in, in two many fronts. Number one, we got to study the the, 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 the kind of soil they're dealing with. You understand? The textures of the soil, whether the, 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 whether it can hold water, it don't hold water. So what can, don't, don't. Let me just give you some analysis. Let me just give you some analysis. Let me talk a bit with a political engineer, then there's a problem with that. Nothing to answer That road cannot hold that road, no matter what some part of it can hold water, that road will not hold any kind. The means that road will not be able to maintain traffic on the through or the rainy season. It's not possible. <laughs> we know that. So that 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 just what it is. Okay, let me just be wrong with you. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Stop, stop being a stop. rescue, a I rescue engineer. Yeah, yeah. Be, I will, yeah. <laughs> I will get stuck. That road will bring down. That is so well be. But it, I don't think it was the president' intention to tell you. During the rainy season, it would just be smooth to go back and forth and cut. But yes, indeed, that road can now hold any traffic during the rainy season that we know in Liberia. Hmm. Okay. Let me just be clear with that. Okay. We got to try to. Yeah. I try to you know, no, you're trying to fix things. I can see. He's trying really <laughs> hard. He's trying. <laughs> yeah. Marie, yeah, let's give it, give it a different touch of the soil. Let's <laughs> do it again. Do it. It's not true. He tried yeah, to be yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't yeah. try to be yeah, a rescue but, engineer. You know, I, I, well, we can't do that, but it's just a matter of fact because not every part of the road is the same. Some part of it is gravel, some is mullet, some is clay, some is sand, you know, all along different kinds of, uh, 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 you know, thank you. Thank you, so, Mikael. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, but it, it can't make it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's hear from you quickly, Mary. Then we take uh, Swari. Emmy will take us to the phone lines. Thank you, Nelson. Um, if I have my own interpretation to give to the statement JMB made, he meant everything he said. Um, he said that the road would be pliable. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, quote the road the roads would be pliable in hundred days. And if my math served me right, we still have about 19 days. Oh, to oh, oh you, 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 you did your math already, oh, right? I did my math. <laughs> we still have I'm about 19 days. <laughs> okay. We still have about 19 days to go. Honestly, I think JMB is doing well. Um, in respect to his statement he's made, he made. However, um, when it comes to the role about people not being stuck right nelson mm -hmm. it depends on what what different they are doing if you look at the road that you showed me just now mm -hmm. you have them putting the dirt on the side right yeah so more than likely when rain comes all that dirt is going to come back in the middle because the rain is going to bring Mary. it back Marie, which which kind of engineer technology are you using tonight? I'm, I'm, I'm just based on my observation, right? Because the road is pliable now. They did exactly what he said, but what are they doing different to 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 make sure that people don't get stuck when the rainy season comes? They have to take that into consideration when they are doing these roads and and look at what they're doing because 
with the, the, the debt they are putting on the side, when rain come, more, more than likely, that debt will come on shore and come right back on the same road and people will get stuck. The road is wow. now, it's fine. And based on the 19 days that they still have, that place is done. A lot of other places are being done. It's not every county in Liberia that need the job done. Maybe five counties, and they started a long time ago. I think they have implemented well. They did the job that they're supposed to do, and they still have 19 days. They're doing the job. But based on his next statement, he said the road will be pliable, not as pliable. Will cars not get stuck when rainy season comes? It depends on what they do different. And I think that is what JMB should be paying attention to to make sure that they're putting they're putting things into play where when rain comes, cars won't get stuck because it will be like they didn't do anything. It will be no point of them doing the job if they're not doing anything different than what the previous government did. Wow. Okay. So uh, let's let's hear from you, um, Swari. Emmy will be the last on this one. We'll go to the phone lines. Let's hear from you, Swari. Well, thank you. That statement was a, a calculated political statement. I don't know why you don't want us to come from the political aspect of the whole discussion. When JMB okay, said no, no, when you say it was a calculated political statement, what's your yeah. definition for a calculative political statement? What do you mean by that? A definition is he knew what he 100 day with foreign and how implementary the issue about car will now be stuck in in mouth uh, was implemented where, where, where to be implemented during his time no the, the whole implementary and implemented thing um I'm, I'm, I'm trying to really wrap my head around it um mm -hmm. sorry yeah. sorry yeah. on this show tonight do no, you I think <laughs> do you think <laughs> If we were to have the ring come like marie already did her math and her math is is, is okay it's not bad you know her okay. math is not but bad we, 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 we have nine. we have like 19 and 19 days to go now this 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 was the condition of the place i mean thanks for all these documents this is how this corridor works like you see on the screen there and you see the vehicle is stuck there they're trying to go through because yeah, it's not that's what it was. <laughs> okay, so given that right now this has been done along the corridor, hmm. so I will come back to you. We are about to go to Emmy. Oh, really? I don't know where you came from, but yeah, welcome back. But if we were to have a situation where the rain Can started, I go sorry, because I was I was soon be out of here. I got stuff to do real quick. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. R Rudolph, you wanna <laughs> so sorry. Let's hear you quickly on this one. So when I said calculated political statement, it did not come with no dishonesty. It was well calculated. Whether dry season, rainy season, dry, he knew that dry season, the man is a wisdom man. He knew that dry season is going to be part of 100 days. <laughs> and that statement was clear. Within my 100 days, no car will be stuck. Thank so you. when we go down this day, no car. <laughs> You don't wonder why your your internet is 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 messing with you already. The guy is trying to spin my brain here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, no car. No, will get stuck. no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Let's take this thing gradually. No car will get stuck in the first hundred days. Yes. Hundred days. The general yeah. interpretation of that is that after hundred days, mm -hmm. if you drive. Through this corridor or through the different corridors in the country, your car will not hit you in the mud. But no. sorry, you are coming back to spin our brain by telling us that from January 22nd to 100 days, 
between that time, no car will get stuck. Then after the hundred days, I turn car will start sticking. No. Where, where are you leaving us? No, 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 no. So no, 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 no. Where you came from before coming on the show? But anyway, go ahead. You miss, you misinterpreting the whole statement. Okay. And don't confuse people in really line. Mr. No, Baga no. said, mm -hmm. "Hey, listening now. Let me, let me." Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Mr. So I said, I take your time. No Thank car will stop in the mud with him a hundred days. Mm. We're in the first no car day. we stuck. Let me repeat myself again. No car we stuck in March within a hundred days of being president. How many days do we have to go within a hundred days? 19 days. If the 19 day goes, no car stuck. That statement is 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 is, is honest. Furthermore, in the future, what are we looking at? It is the continuation of those roads being pliable and more accessible to our people, right? So the issue of a car not being stuck within a hundred days, it will be it is achievable. Wow. And so when I you listen to the when you listen to the press secretary they go turn in her press briefing, she was clear that the president was more concerned about the issue of a car applying very county rules. I mean, we're primal on its agenda. So that is why you're seeing the kind of a delegate you know, work going on. I mean. If you are a politician, you will be a very terrible politician. <laughs> Thank you. Right? That you will speak English. <laughs> then you come back. To... <laughs> it's very temporary for you. So, anyway, so, thank you. Sorry. So, sorry. Sorry. No, no, need... no, anyway, no, no, let me make that really or something. Now. We, let me we make that really because we have, have, have to go to the. No, just remain here. I know the colors are there. Well, now, see, I that's thought really it was here. January 15, but if it's January 22nd, then we we'll get more and than that's, that's days. That's why I told you that, that the map, days. the map, no, you're working map on. Back. Hold on, just <laughs> wait for me. <laughs> and I will not go to Rudolph. I will make you understand more. <laughs> 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 no, nothing, nothing. I actually, I mean, I should have been gone by now, but I was, I mean, every, when I, I find the end of the phone, I get here, you asking for everything. So I said, you know what, let me just try me real quick. You know, Nelson, this statement was a well intentioned statement. I mean, it was honest and everything. And we can see from the, the way the, the president is proceeding, we can see that he meant what he said. He meant well. He was not trying to cajole people. That was no. Rhetoric, as 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 other people can, may say, it. but how be it? The reality was different than what he anticipated. He did not expect to see uh, to I mean to see how terrible things things actually were, and how how and how how poorly the past government per performed. There are, are, I mean, there are, are lots of, of, of things that, that comes into play as to why we might not achieve this in 100 days. He did not expect the whole thing to be going on back and forth with the budget and stuff like that. No, he did not, not expect that. He did not expect to see the, the, the country as broke as it is. He did not expect that Mr. Weir was going to, to, was going to borrow the last... The, the so last who did not before. expect? Uh, uh, Rudolph, who did yeah. not expect? Who did not expect all these things you're talking about, Mr. Buakai? Nelson, that's what I am telling you, right? This was a well-intentioned in statement, and Thank you. with and and even with the Africa, Natale, <laughs> we are still no, seeing let's see, let's see, let's see. Rudolph, Rudolph, thank you, thank you, sir, <laughs> thank you. Let's hold you there. You know, we have to go seriously. Good night, guys. Good Emmy, night. Emmy, I would appreciate if you had to wave your time to the callers. It was uh, nice being here I think that they, the callers appreciate you a whole lot. You're one of the persons that they really appreciate if you had to wave your minutes to the callers. So we just go to the phone lines. It will be very, very, uh, very good. But but decide to take your minutes or not. You can decide. Callers, yeah, you, you guys in the comment <laughs> section, you are watching. Um, just, just watch what the, the decision of Amy will be. Amy, are you taking your minutes or are you giving it to the callers? They, they're already calling. The folks are already started calling. We need to I mean, say, I mean, I mean, I will let uh, Nelson scam you. No, let me go ahead. Because, uh, what's the name? Came in, took my yeah. talking point. Right, he tried to steal my talking point. 
Thank you, Emmy. Well, Thank you, guys. You see, us. you guys, you see, uh, someone say our own commercial break. Which exactly? <laughs> so let's take some calls. Uh, zero triple five one zero one zero seven five. You see, Emmy, Emmy, wave a time to you guys. Um, let's take our first call here. Hello, welcome. You're live on the show. Let's hear you. Good morning, Nelson. How are you? Yes, sir. Good evening to the families, or good morning to the families. This is Godwin calling you from Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, thanks for the show tonight. Great discussion and uh, great families. Yes, uh, I follow the show and uh, let me give my points on the issue of the DA boss, mm -hmm. Mr. Abraham Kumar. Yeah. And uh, I think I will be, I will, I'm going to beat on him a little bit on my first point. Like, uh, I heard you saying uh, the DA boss, uh, few weeks ago, a month, got some guys arrested and uh, they were the process to the police and goes and went to court and were being incarcerated at the Memorial Center prison. And then uh, I think a day or two, uh, the DA boss heard that uh, some of those guys were being released and he went directly to the court, to the judge and uh, started to question the judge. I heard that uh, one or two of those guys were released. I think he was in error by going directly to the judge. In that the DA boss being a former police officer, he, he knows he knows that he's supposed to know the trends of uh, investigation of our legal proceeding. I think if he was to go straight to the uh, the government arm, the government prosecuting arms, that is the Ministry of Justice, and uh raise a concern, but not going directly to the judge, he was in error. And uh two, now he's saying that uh he will withdraw his men from the real border points. I think he was in error. And if the DA boss feels that uh, he's being undermined or his ratings are being undermined by some members of the joint security teams or by some higher ups, I mean, he should go ahead, my name them, my calling them out, and not shoot them. And by, by, by just coming up and saying that uh, he will withdraw his name for the for the group voters, I think that's not the best decision for him to make. Thank you. And as we listen to the, uh, the president of uh, political, uh, the president's statement, mm. that no car will be stuck in the mall for 100 days. It was political. And uh, I mean, if you are, if does not understand that statement, it left with you. Thanks for taking my call. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Uh, zero triple five one zero one zero seven five. Somebody say I should take my time. The, the, number, the number on the screen is only for WhatsApp. Good morning. Calls. Yeah, good morning. Go ahead. Let's hear you, sir. This is Emmanuel Dewey, and I call you from Sad Market 12 Farm. Go ahead, sir. First of all, you do not do the right to Annie. Let me say, let me come to that. If you have boys, you will give me time to talk. You should have, have to give me time for the quarter. But you call it, who are no us? Let me come to the point. Yes, we are very, very friends. I'm going to go to you, keep ourselves on the way, and I just keep on the program. But you don't see us as part of the program. That is okay. And that comes with the real issue. Mm. The real issue, let me go to the first, is the five percent when it comes to rule. Mm. I just left on a short I don't know how I look like. I don't know how to look in terms of when the previous government was doing it. We don't have time for anything. Okay. We know the next holiday, when we say holiday, mm. and it is achieved, the holiday achieved when it comes to rule. The other thing is just called another day. Okay. When it comes to, to, to the DA, Issue mm -hmm. to a job trying to honor my dad, the former, they try to honor my process. Like, there is just a real point of what I've been telling you. You will know the place completely already. They take the report, they will see them. Every of my I will say what I said, I will say what I said. I mean, you have to, to form a, 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 a job in your pocket and do that little so much love of this and, and just read them. Thank and you. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Let's go you there and take another person here. Hello, you're live. Your name and where you call from? Hello, my name is William. I call from Dagi Goda. Go ahead, sir. Yeah. Uh, my primary has to do with the president's statement. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys say it differently. The president say in the first hundred days, mm -hmm. car would not be stuck in any box. He doesn't tell anybody that. There will be quota on all the rules. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. And you're right on that. And no one said he said that there will be paved roads or asphalt pavement uh, along the streets. No, that's not what he said. So, so as a brief statement, I just wanted to make clear 
because this road issue it, it keep bringing up problem every day every day every day so i just want for people to know that the Thank president you. never tell anybody that he want to poke that on all the roads in the first hundred days i know in his sign mind nobody can poke that on road in 100 days Thank most you. especially the condition in liberia thank you thank sir you. um we take this person from this line hello your name and where you call oh. from hello yeah please uh, please go ahead sir let's hear you yeah i'm calling from this one more go ahead let's hear you yeah i just wanted to speak on the issue of every command mm -hmm. that man i think people wanted to they want on a mind but really we got a lot of value you know part of our government so I'll probably got to take one time to do the work. I think, I think you're trying your best. Okay. Thank you. I was listening, I was listening to you talking about the rule from Philippines to Sweden, right? Yeah, tap it out to Sweden. Okay. I've been on that road before. I'm a driver also. I've been on that road. But mm. I think you're probably doing your best. So you got to get in the place also. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, hello? Uh, <laughs> how are you doing? Yeah, let's hear you, sir. You're live on the show. <laughs> uh, I'm, 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 I'm a politician. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> man, so, the part of this on the show, Mr. Pony, want to tell us that a politician can talk to <laughs> Thank you, sir. Let, let's leave that. You, my man, you already doubting the 100 Donkey, days. He so, never sell every content. Let, let, let's take this call. Uh, hello, you're live. Your name and where you call from? Yeah, good morning, Nelson. I'm Stephen Opa Kelly-Sinian, calling from Raw Island. Stephen, let's hear you. And good morning to the rest of the team members. Um, so real quick, my point and my contribution to the discussion this morning has to do with the road construction mm -hmm. um, that has to do with the 100 day deliverables. Um, so as, as partisans, right? And as the president has spoken concerning the first 100 days. So for instance, if I have to wait in my community mm -hmm. and I give you seven days and I tell you that in the seven days, the one week prices of things will come down it means that after the seven days people will benefit will continue to benefit after the prices going down they will continue to benefit all war and not that after the seven days prices will, in, will increase mm -hmm. so the president spoke that in my first hundred days okay the rural condition no okay. car will get stuck in them it doesn't mean that after 100 days 
101 BA carbon is stock, 103 BA carbon is stock. No. It means that that English is spoke. In the interpretation is that people will continue to benefit on war until <laughs> things go in the right way. So it Thank you. Right after 101 day target stuff. No. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Thank we'll you. take the final Thank call you. here. Uh, hello. Good morning. Good morning, Levin. Yeah, good morning. Let's hear you. Levin, this is Banana DP in a call from 540. Yeah. Every by now, we should know our politicians. This is not why our people coming to power to tell us something that is very impossible. If you know the bill, you kind of buy those in the bill, you know the bill, you, you will not even tell the to do that in 100 days. And better when you go out of the East area, you see the road there, you can't be facing one year time. The bad rules are on our side, my brother. No, but they're facing, they're the facing, they're facing who talking about, they're the, the facing the president talking about. Now, for people to be able to drive on the road, not to put yes. quota on the road. Let me put no, it out like that. No, no, not quota. Mm. Not quota. Come on, the match. They play, they play that on our road, my brother. Even if you got your tire, you get, except four weeks. Except four weeks, not four weeks, I'm going to drive and try that person. And in fact, we can also hit there. Let me tell you, on the American holiday. That way, that thing that was. So, we have to be our politicians coming to power to get to us something that is impossible that they can't do, but because they want to get in power, they will just lie to us. Thank so, you. That, we're not going to do that thing. Get working. Okay. <coughs> Thank How you. Was? 19 Thank more days. How long can I do that? Now, 19 more days, or Marie made a correction. Marie, ma, for not correct. Yeah, we got 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 26 26 days for the 100 days to be completed 26 more days so 74 days 74 days where are they going and where are they working thank you that's what you did Danny that's what you did thank you so we have uh 74 days already gone 26 days to go and uh yes that's what it is but uh, i think we're gonna hold the course there let me just squeeze in the final person final person here hello yeah morning morning let's hear you quickly yeah the hot and you don't call me for your name number three calling from where your name number three bombing county oh you're calling from bombing county go ahead let's hear you yeah so for my experience and how I was with public work before those days, mm -hmm. and those times, all the country had cutting from staff to take care of the main role. If only the structure can be made possible for 100 days that car can get stuck. Because you have to go all over the country and find on the road to make sure that, you know, the start quota. Yeah, one car want to get stuff. People are there looking the, the bad part of the road and taking care of it. So what made it so impossible that car? Uh... Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a whole lot. Uh, I think there's an issue with your, your stuff. But we have to go, folks. Uh, we are seriously out of time. And um, we only have time enough to wrap up now. Uh, but someone made a very important comment. Let me see if I can highlight this comment. <laughs> uh, so AJ AJ says, the first 100 days, I uh, can guarantee that no car will get stuck on the road. But after those 100 days, there is no guarantee. <laughs> That's a misinterpretation. <laughs> a misinterpretation right there. Mm -hmm. But... Um, uh let's 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 go ahead now and, and do our after the hundred days. Yeah, right? after already on your own. <laughs> <Not the company. laughs> but let's let's do our closing. And Emmy, you want to start or you want us to start with Swari? I'm always giving Emmy the option because Emmy? Sorry, sorry. Okay, Swari, please go ahead. Well, thank you. I think it was a great show. Thanks to all of the color. You know, that statement, they can always say, one who made his statement is the best interpret, uh, interpreter to his or her statement, right? So, all of our hearts are our own understanding. 
And like I said, it was a well calculated political statement. And it is on the trend of being achieved, that which we're saying from our angle. I want to close that day. Like I can always say, if Liberia must make certain progress in certain sectors, we must have people who should be supported. The issue of jobs is something that affecting every household in Liberia. So it is frustrating that you will see people politicizing the media online who have different interests. We come out all sort of different, different headlines in the name of people buying their papers. Our government should look at the issue of a judge because judge was one of the things that Joseph Boyga talked about that he will fought with his all. And if you have people who have passion to fight job, two million is not something to be allotted to DEA. I mean, it's frustrating. I think the guys should look at the DEA from different angles but not just seen and you know as the regular DEA. So let me make progress with the issue about jobs so that can be free out of jobs. Uh, maybe eliminator or free, we can say in another way. So thank you. I think it was a good show. Thanks to all of the panelists for that Vera. Uh, thank you. Afra Konowa, this guy, this guy, this guy is. Um, Mikael, go ahead, let's hear you. <clears throat> well, thank you, Nessie. Thank you. Well, people in Radio Land, thank you everybody on the show. Thank you, people who made the contribution by calling. But Nessie, it was a great show tonight again. And like the DA boss said, whatever the guys need, let the government be able to provide at least 95% of it to them. Because Liberia right now depend on the young people. We depend on those people as our next generations, or our future generations. We can't just sit back and see them being destroyed by substances as such as drugs and others, you know, by like during the last regime, when we look at people on fixed boat, I think they were taking the call I know I know crucial wedding. The book can be standing literally well, dead. How did you call it? How did you call it? I know crucial. I don't know what a deep is, bro. I don't do drugs, so I don't know what I didn't even he was the officer Hans thing. Is it Pochi? Yeah, I did see her. It's, it's Pooch. <laughs> yeah, man. But I think on a serious note, it was destroying it. it. It was destroying our populations. You know, so we need to ready need to get that man, empower him as much as we can to do his job. And the okay. second thing here is, it's the real issue we're discussing. In uh, um, nothing in the engineering world, you you, you, you could bear that role the way they're doing it and it could last for some time, even through the rainy season. But there's a process in which, you know, involved to build a road. But I don't think it's what they're doing right now. They're just giving access, you know, for people to get to what they need to. Because if there was uh, enough crush right use on that road, what they're doing right now, make a nice waterway where there's no water coming in the middle of the road or bringing things from the side of it, but there's a lot of nice water way to carry the water out from the road and it's being built nicely and started. It can withstand some pressure, you know, depending on the load you put on it, it could go far. But like I said, we're doing temporality right now. We're not ready for that until the government see right to do it. So let's just clear that issue out of here. Let me say, let's just clear from that point of view. But it's been a great show and we seem to be back here on Monday. I think we're not here tomorrow. Yeah, so that thank you and everyone, thank you. We're coming on yet. Thank you, Nessie. Thank you. Um, that's it for me, Mary. Thank you, Nelson. It was nice to be here tonight again. As a supporter of JMB, I would not want to make excuses for him. He meant what he said. Um, he did it with the um aim to get the librarian people to vote for him. And I believe that um it's only right for him to do what he said and i think it's being done um uh i was a little worried when they did not commence the work at the time but now that they did and with 26 days left and i just want to say prophet key is not my math teacher i did my math based on the inauguration day i can't wait for the 15. and then you know so um, 
but then uh, I want to speak towards uh, um, what's going on in the country when it comes to um, our retail sellers, our mothers, brothers, and sisters that are trying to earn um, something for they and their family. I think um, it's necessary for Mr. Moda to um, see how best he can address the situation for the Liberian people. It's not fair to them that people are taking advantage of them, regardless of what um, of what nationality they are. I don't want to focus on the fact that they are foreigners and they came into Liberia and doing wholesale. Um, they're investing, they can do business, but they should be able to obey the law and do the business according to um, what they have the license for. Selling um, retail and having the people buy from you and then taking their customers away and selling. And I'm telling you, the only reason why it makes sense for the librarian people that are supposed to be buying outside retail, going back in those stores again to buy, is because they're probably selling it less five ten dollars less than what the people selling it outside again so people will rather go in the store again and buy it from them because it's much cheaper than retail that is stealing that is not lawful and i don't think it's right um if they're not abiding by the law then i don't think they need to run a business within the country um everybody needs to me ends me they're taking the money out of the country that is already the worst thing then to have our people within the country can't even afford to um sell the goods that they're buying for them is a problem and for as for the dea situation i think uh mr kamara is um doing the right thing he know his job and i and and i'm sure he's gonna um do whatever he can to uh, at least alleviate Liberia from drugs because I know it's, it's nearly impossible when it comes to drugs, but um, he's doing his best. Let me get George, we are all the numbers. How much number did And I want one, two percent because 99 point 89 percent. When you add one percent to the ninety-nine, <coughs> then you know that a hundred percent. So definitely, they're not even have to one percent in all because of that ninety-nine point. Ninety-nine point. It is nine percent. So they're not even one percent. <laughs> that half of one percent. So I have a one percent. You get it, John. You get it. 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 Nothing yes, no. that can cannot be my teacher. Look, 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 that's a my teacher right there. <laughs> that's why I'm happy when you no. trust too no, much. No, I was just mad in it. Just a little bit. 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 So uh yeah, very but thank I you very much. Day, you know. Yeah, so but 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 let's take Emmy. Emmy, you want to uh do your closing? Yeah, um uh, um that's what happened when you cost too much, your math can go away. But listen, guys, um thank you, great show. Nelson, I heard you asking Mr. King if it was possible for uh, Mr. Kermont to do something drugs out of Liberia um, completed. Why it would not be completed, but it is possible for him to do a very good job from the way he started. And I told you, the hold up here is the resources. You cannot fight those things without the resources. You got to pay your people good. 
in order to stop the bribe and stuff, you got to do a whole lot of things. We're talking about drugs. The U.S. spent so much on drugs fighting. And they're not even something, but they spent so much money. I don't know how much, but for librarians to look at, like, so I said, what, $2 million? I don't even know how much in the budget. That's it? We are playing. Yeah, we are joking. Two million. We are joking. You need about something like 20, 15, 20 million to be given to those people. And I know two million dollars. I mean, if if it began, I don't know, he's supposed to lobby or he's supposed to get some partner, people to donate or whatever. But I, I understand there's no money right now. I don't know how this something needs money, but he would need more than that to be able to do his job. I mean, you get people the job to do, people don't understand. It's like, oh, the person needs to do the job, the person not doing that job. Yeah, somebody can do the job, but if they don't have the resources to do the job, they will not be able to do the job. It doesn't mean they are incompetent or whatever, but the, the resources are not there for them to do the job. Same thing with the whole 100 days deliverable. I agree with my sister, Mary. Uh, GMB know he knew he know exactly he knew exactly what he was saying. He was not saying to lie to anybody to get votes to do anything. He know what he said was possible, and he did not say all fifteen counties. He said places. I think he was talking more about on that side and south and more like era than that. That it was so horrible that we seen during the rainy season. The, those were the places he was talking about making pliable for people to get by, and. Like I said before, and the same thing with, with budget again. When JMB came, if he didn't meet what he's supposed to meet there, there's no way he could have get that done. The way he started it, I mean, if it didn't finish, we should all be thankful that he he made a he made a he made a promise and he he started to do it. But maybe because of resources, he couldn't end it. But he did do something about it. But did he say he was gonna it was gonna be all quota or oh it was political or it was a lot? No, I don't think so. I think he he they are doing exactly what they said they were gonna do. And with our people in the market, please, I mean Buddha, please do something for our people. I know people used to I heard a lot of saying that people like when people go to the bank and took people money and they ran away and did not pay. They asked some of these people did not run away now saying. These are the things that happen, right? They'll go and then they got people sitting on their neck doing these things. They're not getting profit off of the, the wholesale thing. They they go at these, okay, like for instance, Smith is what eight dollars. I mean eight twenty-five. And it uh so-called wholesale sending it to a person eight dollars. How much is on that smith for that person to get twenty-five cents? That's it. And then you dare run a competition with me as well. And, they, and when the bank give money to them, they expect they give it to them this month. They were wanting to stop paying this month. These people are supposed to turn this thing around and be able to get something out of it before they start to pay you. If I'm getting money and you tell me to make business, you tell me to stop paying me next month, and I'm not getting in business as hard like that, I'm in a competition with something. How do you expect me to pay this money? So some people did not run away with these money. A lot of things needs to be done and, and, and to give our people some breathing room to be able to do. We want to see them doing the right thing, but we don't want to help. They need help in order to do the right thing. Some people are just plain out lazy. I'm sorry. They don't want to do it. But you have some people that are really trying their hardest, but they just can't get a breathing room. They just can't get it. They just can't get that. that, that that's something to do that comfortable space to, to, to do to do what they need to do. Look at that woman, what she was saying. She has six children for goodness sake. Five hundred dollars, what Liberian dollars? What is that gonna do? And you're paying school fees like for what a hundred or two hundred or two fifty a, a US dollars. Come on. Our people are really going through it and they are trying their best, some most of them. And I think our government needs to help the needs to stop the thing. People need to start telling people that, like, oh, your government is in my pocket, and then they're looking at it for sure that the same things are happening and you're getting away with it and making them to know, oh, for sure, it is happening. I, our government in this group, I get, they need to stop, Thank you. Need to stop behaving like that and give our people some breathing room and do the right thing. And I'm I'm hopeful, I'm praying, and I hope, I'm hopeful and I trust God. I, 
JMB will try his best. It's not going to be perfect, but I know he would be, he would try his best and our people will have some kind of, you know, be, and I like what our old man said today. Nelson, you didn't play the whole tip when you asked her about the government. You need to play it out or something. People think these, uh, and, and people from all the psychometry think our people are stupid, but they're not stupid. Nelson, please don't finish my closing. Play that something. That but you already over, you, you, no, you, you I'm over, not over, 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 over stay your, your, your I still have 20 seconds. I still have this again. Oh, oh, 20 seconds. Uh, well, that's again. No, but, but again. It was, yeah, our people know better. No, yeah, there, there isn't anything here for the folks to hear again. I mean, the guys have, or the, the people have already heard what they need to hear. So we can sell, we send our children to school. So we can sell, we'll be able to support our children. So our children will not get on the street with no food. We're not able to get that's why the children will not put the children on the street. So, so how much children you give them, man? Now their business are putting. I will not allow my son. Yes, yes, yes. Oh boy, one year. And all they going to school. I tell you, after one of them going to school, and after their business, you yeah. say the new government keep in power. Yeah. From the way you look at things, you think the government doing well or they not doing well? Now I get all the government responsible because anything, even when you move to a new place. To get used to other people, it will take time for the get used to me. So we have to get a government time to work. So I don't get problem with the government. I didn't want year, two years. When I see anything, nothing improving, then I can say because myself, I could put it, put it in my shoe. Even in the name, I let you go to the home. You have to get used to the family name. They go day by day. Now now only one time. So I don't get problem with the government yet. Okay. So after one year. Mm -hmm. Two years, yeah. you're not sitting improving, yeah. then you get problem with the government. Yes. And now I don't have no problem. I don't get problem because I can't, I'm not to because we were in there before he came to power. Okay. So we have a daily time. Okay. So the first. Sensible. That's exactly well, this is what I'm talking um, about. That, that was my very sensible. What? She know better. Yeah, she's you're you're trying to more. The people are suffering. The right. people are dying. The people do know. The people know. No, better. no, but, 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 but listen, man. The old man saying the thing. Look at Representative Akal's Gray has a group cry for justice. Mm -hmm. They are crying for justice on the other hand. I mean, uh, the, the Omar is saying something contrary to what the legs of uh, the former lawmaker and all of well, that's what we've been talking about. Yeah, no, but, but, but anyway, guys, we have to go. No, yeah. no, no, no comment on that. No, no, no comment on that. No comment. I just no. wanted to say, I'm just hearing about this AV Koma budget. If you want to know who's sabotaging his 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 operation, he should look at the government official. Are they kidding me? You have one, you have thank one you, drug law you, 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 you got Mary, one thank drug you, law you, you, you have one you know, you know, you know, million war for really? drugs in country. They give me two million it was five one point nine million. I was sorry, 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 we have to. We have to, me, Nancy. Thank you. We have to. We have to go. <laughs> but I want to say, uh, uh, happy birthday to David Wokolo. He's following the show right now. One of our ardent followers. He's celebrating his birthday today. April six is his birthday. David oh. Wokolo, happy birthday to you as you celebrate your natal day happy today. Happy birthday, David. Well, happy birthday, uh, David. And 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 I. I thought to do this when I oh what is this thing? Where is this? Thing? Okay, I thought to do this when I saw this right here, and uh, as an added follower of the show, we want to say happy birthday to you, David, as you celebrate your birthday today. Well, um, Hashim Famole, one of the active participants of uh, the show as well, he's always calling in. And uh, weighing his thoughts on the different issues we talk about. Uh, I want to say happy birthday to you, Hashim family. They may not get one picture yeah, on social the media. Cake? Oh, you asking Can for David's cake? cake? Here, David, <laughs> <laughs> David I get party going. Cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So, uh, yeah, Hashim family, happy uh, pre-birthday to you. Tomorrow will be your birthday. But since we're not having show tomorrow, let's say happy pre-birthday to you, uh, Hashim family. And then finally, um, I want to do this uh, birthday greeting for little Jefferson. Little, little Jefferson Tapor, you celebrating your birthday today. Your father is wishing you happy 10th birthday as you celebrate yeah. your later day today. Happy birthday, all right. So uh all the best. So a baby bro, all your small time picture and all put everything together. Oh, yeah, you gotta stop <laughs> yeah. Happy miss, birthday. You miss me up. So the stuff yeah. from the little one to now. As, yeah. So happy birthday as you celebrate your birthday today. But just why I'm saying this, Hashim Famola got well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The amazing birthday, the amazing birthday picture by Fools, Ajim Famole. Uh, say, yeah, the man, I get one picture on social media. Ajim, how do I, how do I, how do I wish you happy birthday on a platform like this when you don't have a single picture on social media? But again, uh, he was able to send me one. The man is crank in a king chair. And um, let me, let me just pull that up quickly. Uh, since we don't have a show tomorrow, Nancy, you need to do a Ms. related birthday treat to Miss Cora. Oh yeah, Miss Cora. Too, I send you some. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, saying. Who is birthday. your birthday? <laughs> no, my birthday is in June. I, it's not me. Oh. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> let me. Okay, so this is Hashim Famole. Hashim Famole's birthday is uh tomorrow. Happy pre-birthday. Happy. Uh, if for Liberia, it's already his birthday here because it's uh yeah. 4 19 a.m. So happy birthday mm -hmm. to you, Ashim family. We wish you all the very best. These are some of the faces behind the calls uh that we get to receive when we open a line and say, Oh, call in, what's your talk? Miss Ruth, Miss Ruth said April 4th was her birthday. Why didn't you say Ashim something? Family. I, I didn't know Miss uh uh Madam Ruth Koba. I didn't know she had a birthday. Man, yeah, I had a birthday. I had a birthday. Tell me, I disagree with you on this one. I disagree with you on this one. Why she from Charlotte, North Carolina? Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marie, <laughs> you are my dear sister. <laughs> you are on point. Why she from Charlotte, North Carolina? Yeah. Uh, Soiree, I yeah, disagree I with you. Yeah. So, uh. Today is uh, Marie's little brother's birthday. Is that your brother? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, so, happy uh, birthday, what's his name? Brother. We wish your brother a happy birthday. That's my little brother, Mark Catter. I just okay. want to wish him a happy belated or, yeah, happy birthday. Um, when was his birthday? <laughs> his birthday was on the 3rd. Three days ago, okay, I wasn't on the show, but I would like to say later, happy later, later birthday later, from, later, his, later. from his big sister. Hey, I believe he turned, <laughs> oh, you can't tell a handsome man is, but I believe he turned 25 or 26. But I believe you. To him. she said he yeah. believes, she believes, she believes 25. 25. You <laughs> say, Mobi, tell her that. No, mommy, but you know, I understand. I understand. Uh, a uh, soiree, you see the men looking at they say the men for 39. <laughs> so, I, I said, I, I, thought, I thought soiree, I thought soiree is something around anyway. But guys, we gotta go. I want to say, <laughs> okay, so let's go. Let, let, let me do this part. What a 250 issue, you haven't talked about it. Which 250 are issue? I mean, you know everything I'm talking about. The money that lady sent from the burger. I mean, don't don't bring that CEO story down there. That thing CEO talk, don't bring it on. <laughs> Let me tell you now. So, CEO, uh, you're joking. Let me walk on the floor. What? Says roof. Go back to your burger on the floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yes, yeah, certainly. Happy um, birthday. Yeah, Cora we'll had her birthday on the what? I forgot. Yeah. What 
So so the many days that our birthday was many days ago. And uh happy <laughs> happy belated birthday, says Ruru. What are the interactive comment up? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So again, um <clears throat> we have to go. We have to go. We have well, to I go. Mean, just a bit in the April says protest. So. <laughs> no, that is a black. I think that's a black. I think that's a black. I think you guys. I think it's better than I said. When someone, when someone who have been following the show, someone who who is an ardent follower of the show, mm -hmm. um, saw this photo of Miss Cora, they said, "Aren't you? That I'm Miss Cora here." They can only see your face. <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday to one of our panelists, yes, yeah. uh, Miss Cora. You celebrated your birthday on the fourth of April. Happy belated birthday to you, Prince Texas AJ. Uh, we wish Happy you a belated birthday, birthday Miss Cora. Yeah, we wish you all the best as you celebrate a new age, marching in your whole Happy birthday, birthday to one of the passionate female panelists. Passionate or anyway but we have to go guys we're out of time and a very vibrant one she, she, she so again her. um yeah uh so you see this this guy this guy wants to put me in problem but I, I, I want to say thanks to everyone thanks a lot for being here tonight uh we look forward to having a great show tomorrow so again happy belated birthday to you miss Kura. thanks a lot and 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 I wish we could place a call to her, a surprise call. I mean, sure. what do you think? Why not? Why yeah, not? Let's let's let's, let's so place a surprise call. A happy birthday, yeah, let's so. do that in a JV. Let's do that. Come again? I said let's do that in a JV. Uh, yeah. So let's see if we can do this. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Um, I'm trying to get her on. Um, hello, Miss Cora. Hello. How are you? Hello, now. Uh, I hear it. I do it. Yeah, I'm okay. Now, um, guess what? Hello. What? So we are calling yeah? you live right now. You are live on the radio. You are live on the late night show. Um, everyone is here. The entire team is here, and we thought to wish you happy belated birthday. Since in fact. We didn't have a show on the actual time uh, when you had your birthday. Uh, we have your photo up on behalf of the entire team. We want to say happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Happy, happy, birthday. birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, my God. Happy birthday. We wish you many, happy many, many, birthday. many, 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 Oh, oh, someone I just called and said I knew you from back home. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that's a personal message. But Miss Cora, happy birthday again. We wish you all the best. A celebrate in style. Uh, it's a new it's age. Uh, I'm saying this Miss Cora says a personal yeah, message. No, no, no. Emmy, Emmy says someone, someone told her that they know you from back home, but that's a personal message. It just we'll saw your picture you. on the screen. <laughs> And yeah, um, we wish you all the best. Right? Yeah, no problem. Take care, have a good night, and uh, happy birthday! Enjoy your birthday, enjoy your um, I know it's been some days ago, but enjoy your new age. We should uh, plan a bluffing. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I am so proud, I'm so happy. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. So, uh, guys, we have to wrap up. I want to say thanks to everyone for being here tonight. Soiree, we still get it back the backstage button here. We stay active. <laughs> Nanti, I have a question. Why do stand on water spoon begin have that scary picture on it? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh again, guys, we have to go, man. Have a good night, everyone. And uh, they will come again, they will come back here. Have a good night. And uh, Nothing, please, please tell Yasa how, man. Who is Yasa? Awa. <laughs> what happened to him? <laughs> I knew Mario was coming from Awa. <laughs> you see that guy? Who knows? That was not on the show for the next one week. He running away. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? 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 Who's
Come on. Well, let me look what that's right in here. Is that's right here. But again, we have to go to a Nazi mutual friend and go check on the news. Yes, boy. The guy is already apologizing. You see a face there? You see him like. You see him like. That's how they said it the last time. Come on, man. Mm, so, guys, we have to go. Uh, thank you very much, folks. On behalf of the team, we want to say thanks to everyone for following the show tonight. Uh, thanks to Mikhail on, Mikhail on, uh, Pay Boyu. Thanks for Boyu. What's Boyu. the last name again? Boyu, Boyu, Boyu right? Yeah, Boyu. Okay, Mikhail on, thanks for being here. Marie Keto, we appreciate you. Amy, Masha Territory, thanks Master a lot. Territory. Uh, we look forward to having a great show tomorrow. I'm Nelson Collette. Have a good night, everyone. Yeah. And uh, Good night, everyone. Bye-bye for now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A special one from the CEO, Stan Turner with the scroll. And your boy, Friday the South Band.